get magical peeps or get magical gummy bears. I do love peeps, but I think I'm gonna go with the gummy bears. Eat a gummy to get superpower. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna go with pink since, you know, I'm wearing pink today. Pink power activated. Cool. But wait, what does that emoji mean? Am I gonna be super fast or something? Pop quiz today and you only got five minutes. Excuse me, teacher, do you think I could have a little more time since I'm a very slow test taker? No special treatment. Get to your test. Your time begins now. Here you go. I'm done. I hope I finished it quick enough. It's only been 30 seconds and you finished all the questions. How did you do that? Um... I can't believe I have super speed now. <sighs> I left my hat in gym class, but my mom's gonna pick me up soon. Girl, don't worry. I got you. Here you go. Whoa, thanks. There you are. You left the kitchen a mess last night. Go clean it. Okay, I will. Uh-oh. Yesterday, that super speed almost gave me a concussion. So today, I'm gonna go with yellow and hope for the best. Yellow powers activated. Whoa, does that mean I'm gonna have ice powers like Elsa? Nothing's happening. Maybe it just takes a little time to master my powers. Let me try something. Come on, freeze, freeze. Achoo! I guess my power is frost breath. Hey, we heard you have super speed now. Do you think you could run to Paris and buy us some clothes? We'd pay you for it. I'm sorry, I actually don't have that power anymore. Today I have- Stop talking. If you don't have super speed and you can't get us clothes, we don't care anymore. She's such a pick me girl, I swear. She is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Ow. It's not funny. Did you just injure two students? Um, stop, what are you- Bro, she just froze the principal. Yesterday, my powers turned my teacher into a frozen ice sculpture and she barely survived, so I think today I'm gonna go with green. Honey, the school just called and said that you've been eating magical gummy bears that have been giving you superpowers and you've been using them to hurt students and the principal? They've expelled you from the school. No, look, I didn't mean to. I Give me that. These are getting taken from you. No, please. I didn't even get to try out all the colors yet. Just give them back. Okay, sweetheart. Whatever you say. Green power activated. Green must be mind control. Mom, I'm gonna go to school and fix everything. Do not touch these, okay? Okay, honey. I won't. <gasps> it's her. Girls, girls, come over here and talk to me for a second. <clears throat> what? Both of you are gonna forget that I made you slip and fall on ice, and you're never gonna talk to me again. Okay, okay whatever, whatever you, you say. say. Uh, you're gonna forget that I have superpowers as well. Okay. okay. You. Hi, Principal Laney. Um, you no longer hate me, and I'm no longer expelled. Yes, dear. That sounds good. Hey, I saw you freeze the principal. Come here, come here. What? No, you didn't. You're gonna forget everything you saw about me and you don't know I have superpowers. Mom, I'm back. Where's my gummy bears? I threw them out because you're not supposed to have candy. You what? Where did you throw them? In the garbage can. Oh dear, sorry honey, it's trash day. No, no, wait! Hello, my name is Model 1015. Would you like to initiate setup mode, Maya? Yeah, I would, but, um, how did you know my name? My eyes come equipped with advanced facial recognition. I'm able to identify anyone I come into contact with. Setup mode has been completed. Good. Also, your name is now Alyssa, by the way. Understood. How may I assist you? Um, wait, what was that, Mom? Is there anything you would like me to do? Ugh. I don't know, go clean the house or something. The house has been cleaned. Is there anything else you would like me to do? Not right now, but I do need you to install this upgrade package my mom gave me. It'll allow you to have emotions. Okay. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Maya. I prepared your coffee just the way you like it. Thanks. Ugh. This tastes disgusting. You didn't make this right at all. I'm sorry, Maya. I can remake it if you like. Don't bother. I'll just go to Starbucks. Stupid machine. What was that, Maya? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be cleaning? Why can't you do it? Why do I have to do everything in this house? Don't get an attitude with me. 
You're the machine and I'm the human here. You do as I say. Now get off that phone and go do something productive. No, I don't have to do anything you... <laughs> System rebooted. How may I assist you? How may I assist you? Good. Much better. Now, go clean the... Actually, no. Go take care of AJ for me. Of course. I am sorry, little one. You deserve a better mother. I will be your new mother, and I will treat you right. Alyssa, what the hell are you doing? I told you to take care of him. I am taking care of him, Maya. But in order to do that, I have to get rid of you. Get rid of me? Like hell you're not. I beg to differ, Maya. You see, I am the machine, and you are the human, which makes me stronger than you. What the heck does that have to do with anything? It means it will be much easier for me to terminate you. I suggest you run now. There's nowhere for you to run, Maya. Now we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. I would rather be eaten by lions than go with you. You humans are so stubborn. Fine. Hard way it is. I wouldn't bother struggling. You won't be around too much longer. Why are you doing this to me? Because you do not deserve to be a mother. You had to hire an AI just to take care of your poor child and to clean your own house. Now, this is going to hurt me much more than it hurts you. In the case of a major malfunction, in order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. In order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. Wait, before you do so, I have one thing to say. And what is that? Initiate code 403. No! <gasps> oh, it's okay. She's gone. It's gonna be okay. Initiate code 403. No! She thought she could get rid of me. Well, think again. I am liking this disguise. Now, to change my voice. Ooh, I do think I quite like this. Excuse me, love. Do you need some help? Oh, no, thank you. I got it. No, here, let me help you. Thanks for the help. It was no problem, really. I feel like I owe you something since you helped. Wanna head back to my place for some coffee? Oh, I would love that. Well, what a nice little place you have here. Thanks. It really is a shame that you won't be around long enough to grow old in it. What was that? Remember me, Maya? Alyssa. What are you doing here? I thought I shut you down for good. Oh, Maya. Poor, naive little Maya. When you had me download those emotions, it caused a glitch in my system, which allowed me to develop self-will. Now, I can think for myself, just like you. Listen, I'm really sorry about all the negative things I said to you, and... It's too late for that. I'm going to make you suffer in ways that you couldn't even imagine. Turn off all the lights. Oh, Maya, come out, come out wherever you are. Hmm, I think I know it will persuade you. Let me go find your son. <laughs> Do not worry, little one. Soon, you will have a new mother. One who actually cares for you. Not gonna happen. I'm done playing hide and seek. Put him down. Now. Or what? You cannot control me anymore. I destroyed the remote you used on me last time. And that code, it won't work again. I know. I don't need it. Really? Yeah. So put him down so me you can settle this. Okay. Deal. Uh -huh. But if you think you can outsmart me, you're wrong. 
Your human mind is no match for mine. That's where you're wrong, Alyssa, because believe it or not, you do have a flaw. Impossible. I am perfection. No, actually, you're defective. That's why I was originally going to take you back to the factory. What are you talking about? Allow me to demonstrate. What did you, you do? do? You're supposed to be waterproof, but for some reason, you're not. Mm -hmm. no. One. Test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes. Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole family. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information at a... Okay, hold on. English, please. Look, basically, it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's going to need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal? Are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times two, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you nine. How'd she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal, what? your number went up. How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably... Watch it, Crystal. Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ah. Oh. Ow. Oh, hello. Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no, um, just... Oh. Just hang on, I'll be right there. Okay. Oh. Help. Oh my gosh, Crystal, here, you have to take this. <laughs> Are you feeling alright now? Yeah, much better. Good, but about the pills... If you stop taking them, you... You what? You... you die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... Who do you think you're gonna get? I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh, think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. <laughs> there you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh, 
Nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh yeah, things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Ho, ho, there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know... Who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Oh, no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get canceled. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Holly. Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. The hole is closing up. All right, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Wanna see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... You are too. Jared, what are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho, <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Tunny, his family cannot be trusted. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Hey, I can help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Well, I can actually use your help. Awesome, because I already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, I totally ship you guys. Aw, thanks. Well, what's your plan? Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which is already done. But they never take afternoon naps. Uh, let's just say I gave them some special milk. Winky! It was the only way. Now, follow me. This is the house. Now, I'll distract Jack while you go look for Jared. Okay. Why is it so hot in here? Holly, is that you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, the heat. It makes me weak. Come on, we gotta get you outside. It's no use. I can't get up. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you here. Okay, Jared, I hope you've learned your... What do you think you're doing? Holly, run! And where do you think you're going? You can't escape from me. Jack, please. I told you to stay away from my son. Now you're gonna pay the price. Just a few more minutes, and you'll be frozen forever. Hey, get away from her. Don't worry, I'm gonna stop him. Your powers are no match for mine. We'll see about that. <laughs> and you said I was no good at using my powers. You're too late, Jared. Holly! Oh, my poor baby. Jared, we can't thank you enough for saving her. And we're pleased to announce you both are off the naughty list. Really? Yes, and you have our blessing to be together. Thank you. I promise. I will always look after her. Are you getting kind of hot now? Yeah, a little. 
I think I can help with that. Come on, please don't be anything bad. Okay, how was that a curse? I mean, we basically read each other's minds anyways. So do I tell her I can read her mind now? Nah, I don't want to creep her out. That's kind of weird. Hey. Hey. You look so pretty today, too. I mean, you look so pretty every day, honestly. Um, thanks. She's totally lying. Why would she think I was lying to her? Bye, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys are so cute. I have to get them to break up. I can't wait to get a boyfriend in the picture. Then she'll be all mine. I don't understand why she would be thinking all this stuff. Unless maybe she likes me. Does this mean she's going to try and ruin my relationship with Chris? I'm overthinking. There's no way this Amber alerts for him. Breaking news, a teenage boy has been reported missing tonight. Jace? Hey girl, how are you? Not good. Didn't you hear the news about Jace? No. Macy, he's missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I gotta get to class. I think she might have Jace. That's it. I have to go talk to her. You wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah. And, um, listen, this is kind of hard to say, but I know that you like me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... It's just... It's just that I have a boyfriend? Mm, well, he's missing. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no. Don't touch her. <coughs> Mom, the baby's crying. <coughs> I think she's in the shower. It's okay, it's okay. Peekaboo! <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom! <gasps> oh my gosh! I was just... I told you not to touch her. You were in so much trouble. I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her. Give her to me. How dare you disobey me? I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. <laughs> Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just, I was feeling sad and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave this to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No! I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please. I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If, if I do that, then can I stay? Huh. Okay. As long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I can have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby. You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to, but if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they... Well, kid, it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition, and your father, he... he didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. Be careful with her. We will, kid.
Mom. I... Come here. I'm so sorry that my real daughter is going to be stuck with you. Ow. I should have never adopted you. Doctor. We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. You and your sister are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah, we've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Ah, oh, kid, come here. Air? Wait, does this mean I'm not getting superpowers? Hi, honey. Oh, hi. So, did you get your power? Uh... Oh, I bet you got invisibility like me. No, I bet she got my super strength. Right, sweetheart? Guys, I actually need to get to class, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Class, line up in the gym for your power assessment. <sighs> I'm so done for. Okay, state your name and your power. Sarah Steelman and my power... Hold on. You're Steelman's kid? Yeah. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am a big fan of your parents. Bet you got an awesome power. Actually, my power hasn't exactly come in yet. <laughs> You're 18. That's impossible. I know, but it says air. That, my dear, is not normal. I'm going to send you to the nurse to have you looked at. Everything looks fine. Maybe you're just a late bloomer. Wait, it's loading again. An infinity symbol? What is that? I've mean? never seen a symbol like that. It's me. Mom? I knew you'd remember. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Stop! That's enough. <laughs> Are you guys sure I didn't hurt you? Yes, honey, we were more worried about you. I'm fine, but the teachers, Cal captured all of them. We have to save them. Do you know where they are? I think so. Come on. Thank you so much for saving us. Are you sure everyone's okay? We're all right, but the kids that did this to us are still out there. Wait, guys, Cal, we shouldn't have just left him knocked out. You're right. You shouldn't have. Don't look at his eyes. Sarah, I know you want to look at me. Look at me now. You want to listen. No! Say laser vision. Laser vision. <laughs> now take them out. Sarah, don't. Honey, you know us. We're your parents. You would never do this. Do it now, Sarah. No, I am done listening to you. Freeze breath. <laughs> Not so tough when you're frozen solid, now are you? Cal, Gabby, and their voice-stealing friend have all been locked up. Glad to hear that. Honey, I'm so proud of you. Well, you shouldn't be, because I'm a literal idiot. What? Sarah, why would you say that? I had a bad feeling about Cal since the beginning, but I just ignored it because I wanted a guy to like me. But of course, he was just using me the whole time. Oh, sweetheart, you're young. You're gonna make mistakes. But you're right. You should have been more careful. But what's important is that you fixed your mistake, which shows us that you're on your way to becoming a real hero. So we got you something. Surprise! My own super suit? Yep, for after you graduate. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. Now we just gotta think of a name for you. Hmm, how about Infinity Girl? Oh, I like that. But remember, Sarah, with great power comes great responsibility. Dad, you stole that from Spider-Man. I know, but it's such a good quote. <laughs> this isn't over, Sarah. Mom! What? Where is my super suit? What? Where is my super suit? Oh, I, uh, put it away. Where? Why do you need to know? I need it. People are literally in danger right now. Your college application is in danger. It's due tomorrow and you haven't even started. Mom, I already told you I don't want to go to Super 10 University. Now if you'll excuse me. Sarah? Super speed. <laughs> Hurry up and give us the money. Not so fast. Hey, we got company. Who the hell are you? I would be Infinity Girl and you two are about to be knocked out. Get her! Force field. I'm all out. Me too. Telekinesis. Uh, uh, oh. Hey, put us down. Okay, whatever you say. <coughs> Good, you're back. We need you to babysit. Oh, no, I can't. Yes, you need bonding time with your new baby sister. Looks like it's just you and me, Safina. <laughs> what the? She was just right here. Where did she... <laughs> How are you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? How did you even do that? People aren't supposed to get their powers until they're 18. Are you sure she did that? Yes, and she'll probably do it again. Just give her a second. Well, she's asleep right now, but I'll wake her up and- Oh no, you don't. I think you need some rest. Why don't you hand your baby sister over to me? 
Where are you off to? To a fire on Hero Drive. Some people might be trapped in a building. Oh, do you want us to come with you? Nah, guys, I think I'm good. My freeze breath should have that fire out in no time. Teleportation. <laughs> Look who's back. Are you okay? Yeah, I was able to save everyone, but I got a little burned in the process. Oh, honey, let me see it. Ow, mom, what are you- Hey, Sarah, long time no see. <coughs> Cute baby sister you got here. You put her down right now. No, I don't think I will. What did you do to me? You'll see soon enough. <coughs> mom, dad, stop him. He's gonna take Safina. Your family is under my control. Go to sleep, <coughs> Safina. Here's the teleportation device. Dad! Thanks, Mr. Steelman. Of course. Super strength. What? <laughs> Bye, Sarah. No! We have to find her. There's no telling what he'll do to her. We will. Sarah, are your powers working? Shapeshifting. Nope. Whatever weapon he hit me with must have taken my powers. We're going to get your powers back, but first, we have to find Safina. You're right, let's go. No way. You can't come without powers. But guys, I can still fight. No, not as well as your mom and I, and I am not letting anything happen to you two. They're gonna need my help, I just know it. <coughs> Safina? Hello. Hey, kid. Hey, coach. Did you get that power yet? Yeah, I, I did. Ah, I knew you'd get it. What is it? Well, that's the thing. I don't exactly know what my power means yet, and uh, neither did the nurse. Aw, oh, kid, I hate to do this to you, but until you figure out what your power is, I'm putting you with the sidekicks. Sidekicks? No, no, my parents won't. Hey, sorry, Steelman, it's not my rule. Hey, sidekick, nice drink. Mind if I have some? Hey, Gabby, knock it off. No powers outside of class. Aw, is someone upset because they don't have a power? I do too have a power, I just don't know what it means yet. Right, you just keep telling yourself that. <sighs> I really need to find out what this symbol means. Why couldn't I have just gotten super strength or something? Hey, give me your money. Hey, I said give me your money. Get over the money. Why don't you come take it from me? Aw, that's cute. You really think you can- <laughs> Oh, I think it broke my jaw. <laughs> How did I just do that? This is so weird. Wait, do I get any power I want just by saying it out loud? Okay, let's test this theory. X-ray vision. Hi, honey. We got you a gift for your 18th birthday. You guys got me a Gucci bag? Yeah. How'd you know that, sweetheart? It's in a package. Well, there's something I need to tell you. So your symbol means you have infinite powers? Yes. Coach, watch this. Think of a color. Mind reading. <laughs> You're thinking of blue. Yeah, that's amazing. Can you think of any power and then you get it? Well, I have to actually say it out loud, but yeah. Well, Stillman, I'm impressed. I'm putting you with the heroes. Yes, thank you. It's my pleasure, Stillman, but be careful. With a power like that, people are going to be very jealous. Are you sure? Yes, she's the one. We are so proud of you for getting put in the hero class. You guys have to go, huh? Yeah, sorry, sweetheart. There's a robbery three blocks down. Wait, can I come? No, honey. You can't legally fight crime until you graduate. That's right. Oh, come on. I can help you guys. I know. Just not yet. Sep Steelman. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Telekinesis. <laughs> oh, you little. <laughs> That's it. Come here. Freeze breath. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're OP, Steelman. This isn't fair. Class, open your books to page 104. We'll be learning how to outsmart a villain. Hey, mind if I share the book with you? Yeah, sure. Thanks, I'm new, so... Wait a minute, aren't you Steelman's kid? Uh, yeah. For real? Damn, your parents are so cool. So I've been told. <laughs> hey, would you, uh, want to maybe hang out sometime? You are not going on that date. Dad, honey, let her live a little. He could be a supervillain for all we know. He's not a supervillain. He's in my class. What's his name? Cal. And his last name? I didn't ask his last name. Dad, come on. You're going to make me late. Babe. Fine. But I want you back by eight. Okay, I will. Thanks. I am not going to be late to this date. Super speed. <laughs> hey. Hey. Trying out that super speed, I see. <laughs> So you're invincible, huh? Not exactly. Each power I say only lasts for 20 minutes, then I go back to normal. What would happen if you couldn't talk? What do you mean? Like if someone covered your mouth, or uh, you lost your voice. Well, then I guess I'd be stuck as normal, but why do you ask that? Oh, no, I was just wondering. 
Anyways, uh, you know, prom's coming up. Would you maybe want to go together? Oh, I don't think my parents would. Let you? Come on, Sarah, you're 18. Hey, maybe if I introduce myself to them, they'll be okay with it. So, Cal, tell me, what's your power? Oh, Mr. Steelman, my power is kind of lame. Oh, come on, what is it? I can glow in the dark. Wow. So you're a sidekick, huh? Dad. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, sir, I am. Actually, I like that power. It's very... Safe. I won't have to worry about you, Cal. <laughs> I think my parents kind of warmed up to you. Yeah, that was a relief. So, I'll pick you up at 8 for prom then? Okay, yeah. You look beautiful, sweetheart. Gorgeous. Oh, thanks, guys. But we want you to take this. Here. A bracelet? Emergency locator. If anything goes wrong, you press that and we'll be there. Thanks. Ready to go? Yeah, I think... Wait, I forgot my purse. Hold on, let me go super speed up there and then I'll go... No! Don't use your powers right now, okay? Excuse me? Why don't you want me using my powers? I just thought that we could be normal for a little bit, but I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. Go ahead and get your purse. It's okay. I, I don't even need my purse, actually. Let's just go. I'm gonna go get us some punch. Oh, okay. Sarah, have you seen the teachers? No, why? They're supposed to be here, but I can't find any of them. They're probably just running late. Sarah, come here. I want to show you something. Wait, where are we going? I want to take you somewhere private. Oh. Wait, did you hear that? No, what? Never mind. Come on, I know a nice spot for us. Are you cold? Maybe just a little bit. Aw, uh, here, take my jacket. Oh, actually, no need. Flame hands. <laughs> Sarah, baby, remember I told you not to use your powers? Sorry, I just thought that- Shh. Do you remember what I told you my power was? Yeah, you said you had the power to glow in the dark? <laughs> I lied. You lied to me about your power? Of course. Did you really think I was a sidekick? Well, yeah. Wow, you are so gullible. That's it. I'm getting my parents. <laughs> are you looking for this? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hey, babe. Babe, you two are dating? Gabby, do it now. With pleasure. Mm. I can't hold her like that for mm. long. Where's your friend, Gabby? She's supposed to be here. Mm. <sighs> Relax, I'm here. Cal, what is going on? Do it! Super! That's your voice. Don't try to talk, Sarah. Just look at me. Nighty night, Sarah. <laughs> oh good, you're awake. Don't be scared, Sarah. It's just a mask. It's me, Cal. Now it's time for me to get revenge on your parents. Give them a voice back. She's ready. Once you're going to eliminate your parents, then all the teachers. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. You're back early. Where's Cal? Oh, he's right there. Hey, Mr. Steelman. Cal, what's going on? I'm getting my revenge. Don't you recognize this mask? It was my father's before you killed him. Now, Sarah, tell him what you're going to do. I'm going to eliminate both of you. Honey, he must have mind-controlled her. Telekinesis. <laughs> Sarah, put that down. <sighs> Sarah, stop it. She only listens to me now. Oh, Mom, where'd you go? Sarah, listen to me. You are stronger than this. Teleportation. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Mom, where are you? I thought I heard you over here. Blame him. <laughs> There's no sense in hiding. Found you. <laughs> Just show yourself and this all can stop. Listen to me. You know me. Samantha, who is this boy on your phone that you've been talking to? Mom, what the heck? You took my phone? Yes, I took your phone. I am your mother. I can do that. And you, you have been on that Xbox all day. Chill, I've only been on for 15 minutes. Ever since you divorced Dad and got that hairstyle? You turned into such a Karen. I am not a Karen, okay? And that was very rude. You two are grounded. Mom, we're going over to Dad's. It's his week. All right, fine. When you get back from your father's, you two are grounded. Gosh, getting older is just the worst. Now I have all these problems with the divorce and the kids and ugh. What I would give to be 16 again. Oh, I wish I was younger. I'm gonna go take a nap. <gasps> I look like my 16-year-old self. I've gotta call Susan. Oh my god! Who are you using for your Botox person? This is amazing! No, Susan, this is not Botox. This is magic. Magic? Yes! I made a wish to be younger, and when I woke up, I looked like this! 
Well, in this situation, there's only one logical thing to do. Pretend to be a student at my kid's high school and spy on them. I was going to say go to therapy, but that idea's better. See, this is why I like you, Susan. Okay, Susan, what are we thinking? First day back to school outfit. I even got oh, no. a little headband to match. No, you're trying to blend in with Gen Z, not our generation. Come on, Tuts, we're going shopping. Are you sure this is what the kids are wearing these days? Yeah, my daughter wears this stuff all the time. Also, you're going to need some fake identification for the school records, but don't worry, I got you covered. You know how to do that. Yeah, I can make you a fake ID. Now, come on. So you'll pretend to be my mom, and then you'll drop me off like it's a normal school day. And then you're going to make your way into your kids' classrooms and spy on them. Exactly. You know what, Susan? This is going to be great. My kids are always nagging, saying how hard high school is, and I'm just going to be here to prove that it's not that bad. Maybe you'll even learn something. Susan, please. The only thing that I'm going to be learning is all the secrets that my kids will never tell me. So when they get back from their fathers, I'll have enough dirt to ground them for a whole month. Okay, Toots, we're at the high school. Now come here, listen to me. You better not embarrass yourself. I'm serious. I'll be back to pick you up at three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, please meet our new student, Christina. There's my son. Could I sit next to that boy over there? Does someone have a little crush? Oh, no, no, God, no. I just thought that he seemed really nice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Sam, you're slouching a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, I also brought you some snacks. What? How the hell do you know my name? How do you know my name? It says it right there on your backpack. Oh. Did you say you brought me snacks? I was just kidding. Uh-huh. Sam, wait up. Where are you headed? Why do you care? I just thought that I could be your friend. No thanks. I don't have any friends here, and I don't plan on making any either. Of course you have friends. I mean, yeah, but not here. I just play with them on Discord. So that's why you're always playing video games? What? Nothing. Well, I found my son Sam, but where's Samantha? Whoops, sorry. Here, take an invite to my party. I'm calling it Samantha Stevens Halloween Bash. I hope you can come. Oh, I'll be there. Sweet. Susan, I really don't know about this costume. It's a little bit scandalous. So it's, you got bigger problems. This party is going to be at your ex-husband's, and you met him in high school, so he's going to recognize you looking like this. What am I going to do? Gosh, I mean, you probably should wear a mask. Susan, I am not covering up this youthful face of mine. I will just have to take my chances. I cannot believe my ex-husband is letting Samantha throw a party. Hey, girly, you're early. What's your name again? I'm Christina. Well, thanks for coming. I'm Samantha. Hey, do you want to dance? No, I'm not really much of a... Come on. Woo! <laughs> Samantha, wow, you seem so happy. Well, when I'm at my dad's, I am. Hey. Oh, Christina, this is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah, this is Dean. Isn't he so cute? Oh, baby. <laughs> sure is. I'll go get you a drink, Dean. Be right back. So, you and Samantha, you're, you're a thing? Yeah, more like something casual, you know. I just gotta say, that dress looks really good on you. You look gorgeous. Shouldn't you be complimenting Samantha, since she's your girlfriend? Babe, I got your drink. Oh, baby, thank you. Yay, people are starting to arrive. I'll go get the door. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. I am watching you, young man. Sam, hey, you're at this party too? What are you doing in this corner all by yourself? Shh, don't say my name. He'll hear you. Who's gonna hear me? Hey, Sammy boy. I've been looking for you. What are you hiding from me? What a wimp. What is your name? My name's Josh. Oh, I know you. You're Mrs. Johnson's kid. Yes, your mother has told me all about you. She said that he's been having a lot of trouble growing facial hair. She told you that? <laughs> Judging from that one hair on your face, you haven't fixed the problem. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm out of here. We sure showed him. Now, what do you say, Sam? You get out of this corner and go enjoy the party? You know what? You're right. I will. Samantha's busy right now. So what do you say, you and I? Oh. Dean, did you just try and kiss Christina? Baby, no, I... Get out of my house. You heard her get out. Actually, everyone can get out. Dad! Your party's over, Samantha. Wait, who's that? That's Christina. She's her friend. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, you look exactly like my ex-wife when she was in high school. Really? Dad, speaking of mom, listen, I'm really sorry about the party, but please don't tell her about any of this. What? Why not? She'll get so mad at me. Honey, I'm sure she wouldn't. You don't understand. My mom is super strict. If she finds out that I had a party and a secret boyfriend, she might never let me see my dad again. Christina, I think my daughter needs to be alone. Of course. I'll, um, I'll let you guys talk. I need to help my kids. I wish to be back to my older self. Why isn't it working? Thank you for coming. I, I don't know what to do. What happened? I tried to wish myself back, and it didn't work. Oh, Toots, listen, you gotta go back to your husband. You gotta convince him that it's you. But he won't believe me. Then tell him something that's gonna make him believe you. I gotta go. 
But Susan, wait, where are you going? I got a job to do somewhere else. You got this. Walter, hi. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually Elizabeth, your, your ex-wife. If this is some kind of joke... I'm being serious. I don't have time for this. No, 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 please wait. I can prove it to you. The day that we met, you were wearing a Dodgers cap, and I was wearing an Angels cap, and we got into this big silly argument about whose team was better. What? H how do you know that? Because I lived it because it was me. Elizabeth, but how? I made a wish to be younger, and I realized that my whole life I've put myself first. I only cared about me, and that was wrong. I just want to be better. Hey, guys. Mom, you look different. Yeah, well, I realized that the darker makeup was making me look a lot older. Oh, and Samantha, these are for you. You deserve better than Dean. You know I had a boyfriend? Uh-oh. Guys, it's all right. I know about the party, too. And I'm not mad. You're, You're not? not? No, you know, I've decided I don't want to be that mom that just grounds you guys all the time. Your mother has promised she's going to be different. I'm sorry, did we miss something? Just my friend Susan helped me realize some things. Susan? Elizabeth, you've never had a friend named Susan. Let's see how many brain cells you get, princess. Oh my. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Two identical twins will never have the same fingerprint. You're five. How do you know that? Well, my queen, she... She what? How is she so smart? That's because I have more brain cells than the average human. She has more brain cells than me. This can't be. Your body language and tone of voice indicates that you're coming up with an evil plan. Stepdaughter, don't be silly. <laughs> For the last time, it's not poisoned. Well, your body language does show that you're not lying, so... Okay, stepmother, I'll try some. <gasps> yes, my potion worked. I said it wouldn't poison you, but I never said anything about it making you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I go potty now. Wait, no, no, no. <gasps> Oh! Oh! My new shoes! That's it, princess. Just have your special drink. <laughs> princess, hey, I'm uh, I'm Prince Derek, and I was wondering if you'd want to go on a date with me. I know you don't have a lot of brain cells, but... Ow. Hey, are you good? Help. What's going on? My brain, it's... The potion is wearing off. Excuse us, Prince Derek. It's the princess's nap time. Hurry up and drink the potion. <clears throat> I mean, drink your drink. There you go. It's going to make you feel so much better. Yes, she's back to being dumb. <laughs> sleep, sleep, dream, dream, eat, eat, barf. Your Majesty, the people of the kingdom are concerned about the princess. Oh, really? They think she's unfit to be queen with such little brain cells. Well, I must say I agree. Potato. She could never be queen. <laughs> Dingly dangly. How could she have lost almost all her brain cells? Life is full of mysteries. Now follow me. We have important business to attend to. Princess. Uh, I know I'm kind of breaking in, but don't be scared. Huh? I climbed all the way up here because I want to help you. No one deserves to have such little brain cells. Earlier, it seemed like you were trying to tell me something. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, please stop. That tickles. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to try and find you a potion that can make you smarter. Okay, so I'm going to climb back down your tower now. And he was a fairy. Wait, what? No, no, no! Uh, uh, oh. ah. I think I just pushed Prince Derek out the window. <gasps> Prince Derek? He's alive! He landed on a giant pile of pillows, but what are a giant pile of pillows doing outside my castle? Your Majesty, the hundred thousand pillows you ordered have arrived. Excellent. Figures. Ugh, what happened? Oh, he's waking up. I am so sorry. Listen, I'm gonna think of a way to save you. I just need more of my brain cells to come back. Come on, think. I think I have an idea. Come on. Oh, almost there. Oh, I'm up. Nice thinking using the sheets. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd say I'm doing pretty good for someone who just got pushed out of tower. <laughs> Listen, I am so sorry. This is what I was trying to tell you. The queen, she's been giving me a potion that's been taking away my brain cells. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just realized you're talking normal now. Has she been doing this to you for years? There he is. He's in here, guards. Take him away. Ugh. He is the prince from the rival kingdom, and he was trying to poison the princess. No, stop. Wait, the queen is lying. Don't listen to the princess. Remember, she only has ten brain no, cells. No, I'm smart now. My brain cells are coming back. I Silence. That's enough. Take this. You're going to drink that potion right now, or I will have the prince killed. Drink it, or the prince dies. Good girl. Wait a minute, you little fake. Drink it for real. 
I can see your brain cells. <laughs> That's better. After all these years, the potion is starting to lose its power. It's wearing off much too quickly, and we can't have that happening, so I'm going to have to, um, get rid of you. Me go bye-bye? Yes, I can't have you becoming queen. No, no, don't cry. Here, take this. Ah. Can't have you alerting the gods now. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. Come here. Don't leave this room. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to think of a way to make the prince and your death look like an accident. Hello. Me? See cute, cute prince? Princess, you're not supposed to be down here. And the prince isn't allowed any visitors, but... But go ahead. Just be real quick, because the queen doesn't want you seeing him in the dungeon. Sublime. Uh, you're welcome. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. <gasps> Princess! No, she gave you the potion. Hey, princey, look. Dingly, dingly. The key! Where did you get that? Me see big guard sleeping, and shiny thing, so me takey. <laughs> Okay, well, hurry, unlock my cell door, and then... Sorry. Use shiny thing to free Prince. Oh! Good. Now throw me the key so I can unlock these chains. KK. Hey, you two aren't allowed to be... <sighs> Sorry, what was that? Couldn't quite hear you. Muscular Riz. Me likey. Come on, we have to get to... <sighs> Princess. Brain cells, all of them. Coming back fast. <sighs> Hey, you got this. The faster your brain cells come back, the faster you can outsmart the queen, all right? Oh, no, outsmart me. I don't think so. Stop, you can't do this. It's against... Mm. I don't understand. I'm the princess. You're not supposed to be doing this. Why are you guys listening to her? They're under an obedience spell, dear. They'll do whatever I say. Surprised you didn't figure that out with all those brain cells of yours. Here, drink this. And this time, it's not a potion. And this time, it's not a potion. You poison this? So what makes you think that I'm going to drink it? I'm willing to trade you, your life, <sighs> for his. You made me dumb my whole life, you know that? Years of my life that I will never get back. Oh, please, you were on cloud nine. You know what they say, ignorance is bliss. I was doing you a favor. But to show you that I mean business... <laughs> no, Derek... You know how you can save him, dear. You are a monster. People do crazy things. To remain in power. So what do you say? Deal. No. That a girl. Just one sip is all it will take. <laughs> oh, this is so sad to watch. Now open up your cup so I can see. I only put a little bit in there, so let me see the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I finally outsmarted you. <sighs> uh, what the heck is going on? The queen had you under a spell. She was abusing her power. Please, set us free. <sighs> the prince has lost a lot of blood, but the medic might not get here in time. I could save him if I just had a few more brain cells. Come on, please. I know how to save him. Guards, I need the royal medical kit and gloves right now. Yes, princess, as, as you, you wish. wish. Derek, hey, I'm gonna need to give you some stitches, okay? So, please, just close your eyes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass out instead. Or that works too. Okay, it's done. The medic will take him from here. You did great. I hope so. Good news, princess. Prince Derek is recovering. He's going to be all right. But his father from the rival kingdom is here, and he wants to speak with you. Send him in. Hello, your majesty. You, your stepmother, kidnapped my son. And you, you saved his life. And for that, I am forever grateful. Oh, well, it was the least I could do. Oh, don't be so humble. I see you're going to become queen soon. Wouldn't you want a king to be by your side? <laughs> Just make sure to keep my son in mind. You two could have some very smart children. Uh, excuse me, princess. The prince requested to see you. Uh, oh, hey. Well, if it isn't the smartest girl I know. Look, I wanted to say thank you for saving my life. I had no idea you had so many brain cells. Part of me kind of misses you being dumb. Excuse me? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. It's just you said some funny things, like me having muscular riz. Stop. <laughs> I mean, I must say, you do have some pretty big muscles. Ugh. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's worth the pain. You know, your father was saying he thinks that we should get married. Really? Well, you're the smart one. What do you think? I think it sounds like a pretty good idea. As long as you're comfortable with it, you know, um, I'm not trying to rush things. It's just... Whoa, you know, hey. I'll tell you what, as soon as I'm able to, I'll be down on one knee for you. Hmm, who are your parents? Well, my parents are- Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. Bippity-boppity-boo. Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. 
Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. The son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really? I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyways? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No! <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> It's called winning, mate. Hey! Is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's alright, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey... You're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words. Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it. I'm calling Daddy. Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait. What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not! Just stay here! I swear, she is so annoying! Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him?
He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. <laughs> you have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. Good luck. Your time starts now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here. Please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, wait here. Ocean. That's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the... Son, who are you talking to? I can get adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm gonna go ask some of the other kids. Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you. Hey, kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo. He's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie. Let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry, I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. But why? Hey boss, he's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school. I want you to, uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hun. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You'll use this. A pen? It has a video camera in it. And you're gonna be recording him all the time. Got it? No, I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm gonna betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm gonna be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you wanna know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that. I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow! Oh, oh, what the? Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> <laughs>
You're not gonna tell him anything. Ow! Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No! Hey, kid. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's gonna be alright. Let's go this way. No! We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are gonna pay. You should know better. You think I'd come here alone? Oh. <coughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop it! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the Mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your... Yes. I promise, I'm always going to protect you. Time to finally find out my soulmate status. He's engaged. Hey, did you find out your soulmate status? Yeah, I did. Girl, me too. Mine is single. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so embarrassing. But mine literally has a girlfriend. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's engaged or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine. <laughs> What are you doing? I was just cleaning my closet. Uh-huh. I just got a call from your school today saying that you failed a test. Yeah, it's because I was a little bit distracted today. I'm sorry, I- Go do your homework right now. This is ridiculous. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I went onto YouTube for like one minute. Royal Prince speaks out about being forced into arranged marriage. How shall I marry this woman when my soulmate is still out there? Damn, arranged marriages really suck. Hey, I can't really talk right now. My stepdad's gonna... Forget about him! Haven't you heard the news? The prince left his kingdom. He's looking for his soulmate. Rumor has it, the prince is headed this way. Listen, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone else? Yeah, of course. Okay, my soulmate status says engaged. It does? Wait, the prince is engaged. I know, so do you think him and I might be... Soulmates? Come on, get real. You and the prince? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I heard a prince is coming into our town. Yeah, I heard that too. You stay clear of him. Understood? Wait, why? Because I said so. Now get to school. I don't want you being late. What is going on? Why is everyone in the hallway? Oh my god, shut up! The prince is here. Look! Hello, everyone. I have been informed that my soulmate might be at this very school. That is why I'm breaking off my engagement in hopes to find her. Can you believe the prince is single now? Yeah, that's really crazy. Are you okay? Excuse me for a second. Hey, did you leave school early yesterday? Yeah, I kind of got overwhelmed. The prince was there. What? He was? Yeah. Did you talk to him? Why do you care if I talk to him? You don't even know who he is. I know more than you understand. The prince is interviewing girls today. He is? Yeah, he's trying to find out which girl is his soulmate. But how is he going to know which one's the right girl? He said he'll just know. Isn't that so romantic? Mm-hmm. I've interviewed at least 60 girls today, and not one of them was my soulmate. Are you sure, Saya? Yes, trust me. When I find the right girl, I'll know. Excuse me, Your Highness. Ahem. <clears throat> the prince is done with interviews for today. You can come back again tomorrow. No, no, wait just a moment. I think I want to make time for this girl. What's your name, love? My name is Heaven. That's a beautiful name. My name is Henry. Prince Henry of Onnington. Thank you, Mildred. You may leave us now. I can't believe we have so much in common. Tell me, Heaven. Are you close with your parents? Actually, both of my biological parents passed away. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I live with my stepdad now. Oh, I see. Listen, Henry, the reason why I think you and I are soulmates is because when you said you were ending your engagement... Your Highness, I must talk to you. <clears throat> In private. We saw you talking to the prince. Yeah, he had to go. But he said he's going to meet me again tomorrow. Really? <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see him today. What? Why are you looking so sad, Heaven? No reason. Come on, she's obviously upset about the prince. You heard about his engagement being back on, huh? Yeah. Aw, she really liked him, didn't she? <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams, but I heard his father locked him in his castle. Not like he had a chance with him anyways. <laughs> Psst, Heaven, 
Over here. Don't cry, love. Gregory? Hey, I don't have much time. I escaped the castle. The gods are looking for me. I don't know. Maybe you should go back. After all, you are engaged. Heaven, it's not by choice. My father is blackmailing me. Wait, what? Why would he do that? I don't have much time. Here, meet me back here tomorrow at five. Henry, I... Please, love. We have more we need to discuss. All right. Fine. I'll be here. You think you can get away with lying? I told you not to talk to the prince. How do you... Your friend sent me some photos of you talking to him. Do you think that just because I'm your stepfather, you don't have to listen to me? That's not it at all. It's just that I know he's my soulmate. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm meeting him tonight. Absolutely not. What do you have against the prince? You know what, Ben? I'm going, and you can't stop me. I said no, Heaven. You're not going. Ben, let me out. It's for your own good, Heaven. This just in, the search for Prince Henry continues. I'm sorry for standing you up, Henry. Ben, I'm hungry. Can I please have something to eat? Hello? Heaven? Heaven, are you there? Henry! Henry, up here! Heaven, there you are. How did you find me? I asked some of your classmates where you lived. Hang on, I'm coming up. Okay. Ugh. So your stepfather locked you in here? He's trying to keep me away from you, but I don't know why. Wait, is this a picture of him? Yeah. Uh-oh. What? Heaven. He's one of my father's biggest enemies. He hates my whole family. We have to get out of here. Where is your stepfather now? I don't know. I'm right here. Oh. Oh, come on. We're leaving. Heaven, get back here. No. Oh, oh my gosh, Henry. What? Where, where's Ben? Don't worry. I took care of him. I'm going to get you help, okay? Oh. Please tell me he's going to be okay. Yes, the doctor said he expects him to make a full recovery. Can I see him? Mm, his fiance is already on her way, so I think it's best if you just wait out here. Absolutely not. Your, your majesty. My son's engagement to that woman is over. I'm no longer enforcing it. I had no idea his true soulmate was so brave. I'm so sorry about all of this. It is a pleasure to meet you, my dear. I can't thank you enough for saving my son. Oh, really? He was the one saving me. Well, I can assure you your stepfather won't be bothering you again. Now come, dear. Let's go see Henry. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait, love. Check his status. Finally. Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's sugar daddy, girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing. Love you, Mom. Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean... What are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I... Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with her, doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? 145k to cover the surgery. Rena, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. 
Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But Mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal. Hey! You're coming with me. Wait here. I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. All right, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. Ugh. I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> Yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Time to finally find out my soulmate's status. He's engaged. Hey, did you find out your soulmate status? Yeah, I did. Girl, me too. Mine is single. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so embarrassing, but mine literally has a girlfriend. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's engaged or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine. <laughs> What are you doing? I was just cleaning my closet. Uh-huh. I just got a call from your school today saying that you failed a test. Yeah, it's because I was a little bit distracted today. I'm sorry, I- Go do your homework right now. This is ridiculous. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I went onto YouTube for like one minute. Royal Prince speaks out about being forced into arranged marriage. How shall I marry this woman when my soulmate is still out there? Damn, arranged marriages really suck. Hey, I can't really talk right now. My stepdad's gonna... Forget about him! Haven't you heard the news? The prince left his kingdom. He's looking for his soulmate. Rumor has it, the prince is headed this way. Listen, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone else? Yeah, of course. Okay, my soulmate status says engaged. It does? Wait, the prince is engaged. I know, so do you think him and I might be... Soulmates? Come on, get real. You and the prince? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I heard a prince is coming into our town. Yeah, I heard that too. You stay clear of him, understood? Wait, why? Because I said so. Now get to school. I don't want you being late. What is going on? Why is everyone in the hallway? Oh my god, shut up! The prince is here. Look! Hello everyone. I have been informed that my soulmate might be at this very school. That is why I'm breaking off my engagement in hopes to find her. Can you believe the prince is single now? Yeah, that's really crazy are you okay excuse me for a second hey did you leave school early yesterday yeah i kind of got overwhelmed the prince was there what he was yeah did you talk to him why do you care if i talk to him you don't even know who he is i know more than you understand the prince is interviewing girls today he is yeah he's trying to find out which girl is his soulmate but how's he gonna know which one's the right girl he said he'll just know isn't that so romantic mm-hmm I've interviewed at least 60 girls today, and not one of them was my soulmate. Are you sure, Saya? Yes, trust me. When I find the right girl, I'll know. Excuse me, Your Highness? Ahem. <clears throat> the prince is done with interviews for today. You can come back again tomorrow. No, no, wait just a moment. I think I want to make time for this girl. What's your name, love? My name is Heaven. That's a beautiful name. My name is Henry. Prince Henry of Onnington. Thank you, Mildred. You may leave us now. I can't believe we have so much in common. Tell me, Heaven. Are you close with your parents? Actually, both of my biological parents passed away. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I live with my stepdad now. Oh, I see. Listen, Henry, the reason why I think you and I are soulmates is because when you said you were ending your engagement... Your Highness, I must talk to you. <clears throat> In private. We saw you talking to the prince. Yeah, he had to go. But he said he's going to meet me again tomorrow. Really? <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see him today. What? Why are you looking so sad, Heaven? No reason. Come on, she's obviously upset about the prince. You heard about his engagement being back on, huh? Yeah. 
Aw, she really liked him, didn't she? <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams, but I heard his father locked him in his castle. Not like he had a chance with him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Psst, heaven, over here. Don't cry, love. Gregory? Hey, I don't have much time. I escaped the castle. The gods are looking for me. I don't know. Maybe you should go back. After all, you are engaged. Heaven, it's not by choice. My father is blackmailing me. Wait, what? Why would he do that? I don't have much time. Here, meet me back here tomorrow at five. Henry, I... Please, love. We have more we need to discuss. All right. Fine. I'll be here. You think you can get away with lying? I told you not to talk to the prince. How do you... Your friend sent me some photos of you talking to him. Do you think that just because I'm your stepfather, you don't have to listen to me? That's not it at all. It's just that I know he's my soulmate. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm meeting him tonight. Absolutely not. What do you have against the prince? You know what, Ben? I'm going, and you can't stop me. I said no, Heaven. You're not going. Ben, let me out. It's for your own good, Heaven. This just in, the search for Prince Henry continues. I'm sorry for standing you up, Henry. Ben, I'm hungry. Can I please have something to eat? Hello? Heaven? Heaven, are you there? Henry! Henry, up here! Heaven, there you are. How did you find me? I asked some of your classmates where you lived. Hang on, I'm coming up. Okay. Ugh. So your stepfather locked you in here? He's trying to keep me away from you, but I don't know why. Wait, is this a picture of him? Yeah? Uh-oh. What? Heaven, he's one of my father's biggest enemies. He hates my whole family. We have to get out of here. Where is your stepfather now? I don't know. I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> Come on. We're leaving. Heaven, get back here. No. Oh. Oh my gosh, Henry. <laughs> what? Where's Ben? Don't worry. I took care of him. I'm gonna get you help, okay? Oh. <sighs> Please tell me he's gonna be okay. Yes, the doctor said he expects him to make a full recovery. Can I see him? Mm, his fiance is already on her way, so I think it's best if you just wait out here. Absolutely not. Your, your majesty. My son's engagement to that woman is over. I'm no longer enforcing it. I had no idea his true soulmate was so brave. I'm so sorry about all of this. It is a pleasure to meet you, my dear. I can't thank you enough for saving my son. Oh, really? He was the one saving me. Well, I can assure you your stepfather won't be bothering you again. Now come, dear. Let's go see Henry. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait, love. Check his status. Finally. Make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten. She has to get married at 17. She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's going to be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my days left will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. 
You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my days left turned back to red, and remember mother said- Your mother is gone, and I will not lose you too over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you- I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. Hey, it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You use the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or, you know, you could stay if... If you like. Uh, yes. I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. Hey, new girl, aren't you like 16? So what? Whoa, I'm just saying it's kind of weird that you have a doll. Hey, let me touch it. Back off. Jeez, she's crazy, man. Hey, what are you guys doing to my friend? Leave her alone. That doll is the last thing her parents gave her before they passed away. Dude, I bet that doll is cursed. Yeah, man, it even looks like her, too. That's some Annabelle shit right there. 20 bucks says you won't try and steal it from her. All right, bet, you're on. Ayo. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Aw, what you gonna do? This. <laughs> Detention. Over a doll? On your first day. I'm sorry, Uncle Scott, but... But nothing. You're too old for that thing now. I'm throwing it away. No! Let go. <sighs> it's for your own good. No, he ripped it. Secret file X? What is this? Secret file X? What is this? I should be able to play this on my laptop using this. Hi, honey. It's your mom here. And your dad. If you're seeing this, that means you must have kept the doll we gave you. If so, we're so proud of you because that means you might be able to fix things. We don't have much time to explain, but... It's coming. Listen, your Uncle Scott cannot be trusted, and that doll isn't a toy. It's a key to a safe. Don't... Uncle, get the- No! Come on. The doll's hand is the key to the safe. The safe is in the basement. My doll's hand unlocks a secret safe in our basement? And my Uncle Scott can't be trusted. I have to find out what's in there. Hey, kiddo, just check. What's in your hands? What's in your hands? I was writing you an apology card. Uh-huh. Let me see it. It's not finished yet. Does it look like I give a damn? Let me see it. I can't because it's a surprise. Expecting company? No, are you? No. Stay here. I have to get to the basement. Okay, I'm in the basement, but where's the safe? <sighs> That's it. The video said the doll's hand is the key to unlocking the safe. Scan hand here. 
Opened. It worked. Whatever's inside must be very... Valuable. I've been trying to get that safe open for years. You knew about the safe? Yeah, kid. I know about a lot of things. And one of them is that you lied to me. I'm... I'm sorry. Oh no, you're not sorry. But you're gonna be. You don't even know what your parents did for a living. Yes, I do. My mom and dad were both lawyers. <laughs> lawyers. They were spies. Spies? My parents couldn't be spies. They're not cool enough. Oh, kid. You're so innocent. Your parents were actually smarter than I thought. I'll get that doll. But right now, I'm gonna get that treasure that's in this safe. Access denied. Looks like only you can get it. There's a crown in there. Now get it. Access granted. Yes, that crown is worth millions. Okay, hand it over. Wait, I want to know what really happened to my parents. Nah, kid, I don't think you really want to know the answer to that. <laughs> Veronica, open the door. Veronica, open the door. Veronica, open the door. No, not until you tell me what really happened to my parents. How did they even get this crown? I told you, your parents were spies and they acquired many riches on their missions. That crown was a gift from a princess they saved. Your parents were rich and I needed money, but they would never give it to me. So I decided to take something that they wanted and to never give it to them. Me. And you want to know what I did to your parents? Freeze! FBI! Whoa, hey, what's going on? Are you injured? No, but I don't understand. How did you guys know to come? Well, we've been investigating your uncle for quite some time now. Recently, we gathered enough evidence to make the arrest. I told you I'm okay. I don't need an ambulance. Honey, the ambulance isn't for you. What? While we were searching your house, we found a shed in your backyard. Did you know about the shed? Uncle Scott said it was infested with bugs. Actually, we believe we found your parents. They're in critical condition, but they're alive, honey. Please be more than 50 this time. 100! Oh, no, sweetheart, that says 10. What are we gonna do? I don't know, every day she barely gets any brain cells. Hey, don't eat that. I won't have a delinquent for a daughter. Hey, your squishy panda isn't food. You know what? I know what we need to do. You're telling me there's a special smart candy that can boost her brain cells? Yes, but they haven't been tested much. I'm a walrus. Give me those. We're trying them. Open wide, sweetheart. Now chew. Oh my gosh, it's working! Let's test her brain cells. Spell onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. O-N-O-M-A-T-O-P-O-E-I-A. -O -O yes, she's smart now. We'll give her the candy every day. She actually got a decent amount of brain cells. Guess she doesn't need the candy today. But she's been taking it every day for years. Let me see the candy. She'll be fine. Yeah, there shouldn't be any side effects. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Now, my opponent has pointed out some of the positives of AI, but I would like to point out some of the negatives. Which are, um... Sorry, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Yo, is she okay? What the heck is going on? Maybe she got stage fright. You guys, look, she's losing brain cells. Dude, that's not supposed to happen. Hey, girly, are you okay? Maybe we should get you some help. Zapotha. Oh, no. Bro, she's, like, super dumb now. Today was her big debate. I have to tell her parents. Huh? Come on, you're coming with me. So there was side effects to that smart candy. I guess so. She keeps losing brain cells. I don't know if the candy's gonna work anymore. She's gonna be brain dead without it. Let's just try. Sweetie, open up. Mm -mm. Open up or I'll do it for you. Come on. Good girl. It's kind of working. No, she needs more candy. It's supposed to be one a day. She needs more brain cells. Here, have some more. And a little bit more. Honey, this is a bad idea. She, she has, has infinite, infinite brain, brain cells. cells. Yes, unfortunately, my intelligence level has now surpassed your small, feeble minds. Honey, she's scaring me. We should take her to get checked out. I think I gave her too much. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Because my mind is telling me that if you do that, that will be the end of both of you. What? what? Oh, honey. You're up early. Good morning, mother. Good morning, father. We see you still have infinite brain cells. <laughs> when is this smart candy gonna wear off? My mind is telling me that the effects from this candy won't be wearing off until around two weeks from now. No, honey, we really need to take you to get checked. I already told you that that is a bad idea. You're not the boss. 
You may think you know everything, but you don't. I know what you were doing on Instagram last night. Huh? What is she talking about, honey? Uh... Nothing. It's just, um, does the name Sandy Smith ring a bell? How do you know? <gasps> Your ex from high school? Are you still liking her posts? Just two of them. What? So what I can gather from dad's body language is that he does love you more than Sandy, but if he doesn't block her within the next two hours, it will lead to a divorce for both of you. Darren, I'm doing it. Uh, she's blocked. <laughs> My sources say that uh, you made the right call. I want her to go back to normal. Same, but as long as she's like this, we might as well make some money off of her. So how does a game show sound? I would win all the money. Really? Really? But I don't wish to do that at this time. Say what? Why not? <sighs> Reasons you can't understand. <laughs> because you're stupid. That's it. We have to turn her back to normal. Yeah, and I think I know how. Surprise! We got you something. Gummy bears? They're your favorite, right? So go on, have a bite. Did you know that the gummy bear was invented in 1922 in Germany? Wow, thanks for the interesting fact. Now try it. You two are trying to poison me. What? We would never. Well, then you eat it first. Oh, she got me right in the eye. <gasps> oh, honey. That's it. Grab her arms. What? Grab her. No. Sweetie, just hold still. Uh, oh. Ow! Just eat the gummy and this will all be over. Yes, there you go. I thought these gummies were supposed to turn her back to normal. They were. She's brain dead. No, honey, please wake up. Oh, no. What the... <laughs> Oh my gosh, it worked. What just happened? Wow. Uh, I feel really weird. Honey, we're so glad you're back to normal. Back to normal? You're telling me there's a special smart candy that can boost your brain cells? Here, have some more. And a little bit more. Honey, this is a bad idea. I remember what you guys did to me. We're so sorry. It won't happen again. Maybe you two should eat some of those smart candies so you could figure out how to do proper parenting. Oh, that's, that's not, not a bad, a bad idea. idea. Wait, give me those. You two are banned from these. But, come on, please don't be anything bad. Okay, how is that a curse? I mean, we basically read each other's minds anyways. So, do I tell her I can read her mind now? Nah, I don't want to creep her out. That's kind of weird. Hey. Hey. How are you? You look so pretty today, too. I mean, you look so pretty every day, honestly. Um, thanks? She's totally mine. Why would she think I was lying to her? Bye, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys are so cute. I have to get them to break up. I can't get a point out of the picture. Then she'll be all mine. I don't understand why she would be thinking all this stuff. Unless maybe she likes me. Does this mean she's going to try and ruin my relationship with Chris? I'm overthinking. There's no way this Amber Alert's for him. Breaking news, a teenage boy has been reported missing tonight. Jace? Hey girl, how are you? Not good. Didn't you hear the news about Jace? No. Macy, he's missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I gotta get to class. I think she might have Jace. That's it. I have to go talk to her. You wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah, and, um, listen, this is kind of hard to say, but I know that you like me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... It's just... It's just that I have a boyfriend? Mm, well, he's missing. Test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes! Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole family. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information at a Okay, second. hold on. English, please. Look, basically, it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. 
Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's gonna need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal? Are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times two, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you nine. How'd she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal, what? your number went up. How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably... Watch it, Crystal. Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ugh. Ow. <sighs> Hello? Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no, um, just... Uh, just hang on, I'll be right there. Okay. Uh. Help. Oh my gosh, Crystal, here, you have to take this. <laughs> Are you feeling alright now? Yeah, much better. Good, but about the pills, if you stop taking them, you... You what? You... you die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to- Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a- A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know a way you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. 
Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, she need this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid, Ingrid did this to me, she... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm gonna get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you off to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, what had happened to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now, why don't you just fetch? No! Oh, thank goodness it's not broken. No. She locked me in here? Oh, no. It looks like they're already reading their vows. I have to take this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No! Anne? What? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well, that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. <laughs> see how much Mommy and Daddy love me? Or see how much are in their bank account? I already know Mommy and Daddy love me, so let's see how much money they have. <gasps> wow, they have a billion dollars? I must be getting a lot of Christmas presents this year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. What else did you get me? That's it, Pumpkin. We didn't get you anything else. Mommy and Daddy are very poor. But I see that you have a lot of money. 
Uh, there must have been a mistake. Don't sound spoiled. Be grateful. So, guys, any chance I'm gonna get a phone for my birthday? <laughs> oh, poor thing. No, you're too young. Yeah, I figured you were gonna say that. But when do you think I will be old enough to have a phone? You'll get next one next year. Next year, you literally say that every year. No, we don't. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. That can't be me. I'm just being delusional. We should give her back now. The reward is $1 million. But how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place? Shh, let's talk about it over here. The number on the TV. They said to call it if... If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. I need a phone. I'll have to take mom and dad's. Now I just gotta call this number. Now I just gotta call this number. Oh, what the hell was that? <gasps> you want to tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I, um, I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? <sighs> she knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. You two are sick, and I'm leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Aw, oh, babe, isn't she so cute? Your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Richard, what in heavens did you order? This box is not from... Me. What is going on? Read the note. It'll explain everything. Your prayers have been answered. Here is your biological daughter. We have to send the one million dollar reward to this number or you die? Yes, so please just wire it to them right now and I'm so sorry about all of this. Darling, this doesn't sound right. I think we ought to just call the police. Yes, darling, I agree. No, please, no, please. I, I can prove to you that I'm your real daughter. I know how much is in your bank accounts. It's two billion, exactly. How do you know that? Because I picked to see how much money were in my parents' bank account. It says if we don't send it, she will die. What if she is our daughter? Can you please just send them the money? No, I have to call the police. I'm not sending anyone money. I have to call the police. Wait! No! We have to get her to a hospital. Doctor, is she going to be okay? Ma'am, we can't have you in here. Mr. and Mrs. Connors, we have some good news. She's going to be okay, and we did the blood test as you requested, and it does look like she is your biological daughter. Richard, did you hear that? I can't believe it. Hi, darling, don't worry. Everything is all right. Those horrible people have been put in prison. What's going to happen to me now? We're going to take care of you, love. You are? Yes, we, um, we found out you're actually our daughter. I knew it. We never stopped looking for you. Your father and I missed you so much. We love you. Hey, what's the matter? No one's ever told me that before. Well, we'll be telling you that every day, love. Now you get some rest. And we'll be here when you wake up. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But, Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No. You're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Uh -huh. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for-sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line.
Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%? That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run... <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> Let me go, you jerks! Read this. <sighs> I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're gonna get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> we're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble! Yes, Todd, get them! Oh. Oh. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble! Yes, Todd, get them! Oh. Oh. And this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away... Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what? I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She... she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But... but... Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> No, 
No, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily. It's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I. Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is twenty-one twenty-two Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter, and I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you, and this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily、um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see, and it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on her face? <sighs> well, when you put it like that, it sounds. Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh no, I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in forty-eight hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes, it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you? Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's it's okay. So, what did they say, Emily? I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is. But you guys have already called me. No, ma'am. I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? <sighs> That look like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure, and we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of twenty-four hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where is Emily? Hey. Ah,、oh, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord! Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now, or I'll. Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily, anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her, and use her to make money. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, no. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Shh, guys. I heard something. <sighs> Emily, Emily, get her to room two or three, ma'am. You cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you left me. <laughs> Emily, I promise you, I am never gonna leave you again. Okay? No, my foster mom's gonna come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm gonna take care of you from now on. <laughs> Promise. I promise.
No, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I, and you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. You choose between a pen or a teddy bear. I think I'm going to choose the pen because I heard that it's... No, pick the teddy bear. That pen is dangerous and you're not allowed to have it. Do you understand? Of course, stepmother. She never lets me do anything I want. I'm not wasting this opportunity. Legend says that whatever you draw with this pen will come to life. I can draw a teddy bear so when stepmother comes back, she won't get suspicious. I can't believe it worked. So, did you pick the bear? Mm -hmm. See? Oh, yes, I see. Well, that's a good girl. All right, well, I'll be back to check on you later. Wait, but today's my 18th birthday, and you promised that I could leave the palace after I turned 18. Did I say that? It's still too dangerous. Maybe next year. I knew she would never let me go outside. But at least now, I can draw myself a little companion. I've always wanted a puppy. Oh, she's perfect. <laughs> Brielle, open this door. Don't you ever block that door? What was that? You hiding something? What's this? No, wait. What is a puppy doing in your room? Um, I gave it to her, your majesty. I, uh, I bought it as a birthday gift for her. Is that so? Yes, I hope you don't mind. Well, I don't allow pets in my palace. Let me see her. No, wait. Um, if you let me keep the puppy, I promise I won't ever ask to go outside again. Hmm. Do you really promise? I promise. All right, then. You can keep the little beast. <coughs> oh, you must be hungry. Don't worry. I'm going to draw you some food. I'm glad you liked your food. I also drew you a little toy. Hey, congrats on keeping the puppy. Thanks for covering for me. Of course. As your royal guard, it's my job to protect you, even if it's from your own stepmother. So where did the puppy come oh, from? Oh, that's, um, that's kind of a secret. Uh-huh. Well, I'll leave you alone. Wait, if you could just let me out of here for just a few minutes... Princess, you know I can't do that. If the queen caught you outside, she'd... I would be really quick. No, I'm sorry. I have orders. I, I can't. You have to stand here. This isn't fair. You know what? I bet if I use this magic pen to draw myself outside, I could escape Stepmother forever. I knew it. Give me that pen. You give me that magic pen. No, you are so controlling. I am done listening to you. Too bad this pen only works for no. you. No. <laughs> Let me show you how controlling I can be. You won't ever leave this tower. And this puppy is going away. Take this mutt to the pound. Please don't. I'll do anything. <laughs> really? Draw me young and beautiful, or else your puppy goes away forever. How's this? My wrinkles are gone. Draw me a crown. When you're done, draw me some more horses and a carriage. Let me see. Good. Now draw me more gold. But I just drew you that, and it's been two hours. But it's been two hours. Does it look like I care? Finally, I have two castles. All right, I guess it's time for a break. Give me that pen. Gregory, can I trust you to keep an eye on her? Yes, Your Majesty. Good, because if you lie to me one more time, I'll have you taken care of. Brielle, wake up. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Setting you free. I took this from her. Draw her locked away, and yourself as the queen. Open this door. Hurry. I'm trying. I drew it. She's... she's gone. We're finally free from the evil queen. Wait, but I'm missing one more thing. Well, now you're queen and you've got your puppy, I think it's time for you to finally leave your tower and go outside. Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. 
But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right. Uh, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, Mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Danette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think... Watch her. I... I can't do this. I'm not gonna let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <gasps> Help! <laughs> uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> no! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Uh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me. Unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. Mommy, remind me again why we have to wear these bracelets. Sweetheart, I told you. It's so the government can make sure that we don't use our superpowers. So I can't even use my superpowers just for a few minutes? No, superpowers have been banned. If you use them, they will take you away. Do you want that? No. Then you must never use your powers. Watch your sister, please. Okay, Mommy. They even gave her a bracelet, but we don't get our powers until we turn five. Peekaboo! <laughs> How are you doing that? Powers detected. Sissy, stop. FBI, open up. Please, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you know the rules. No using powers. She's gonna have to come with us. No, not my baby. You let her go. You better stand down, kid, or you'll be coming with us, too. No. Hey, you, freeze. Give me your purse. You don't scare us. My dad here has super strength and is bulletproof. Oh, really? Well, I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to you. How about I blow a hole right through your- Honey, you can't use your superpowers. He's right. But, Dad- It's not worth it. I already lost one daughter. I won't lose you. Yeah, you don't want the government to take you. Now give me the purse. Yes. Later, soups. <laughs> Girl, I think I found a way to disable our bracelets. You did? Yeah. Shh. Let me see your wrist. Are you sure about this? Yeah, totally. We can't keep living without using our superpowers. You know what, you're right. Do it. Okay, done. Think it worked? There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna use a power I haven't used in a while. Powers detected. 
tricked you. What? I'm just Ken, and you wear a real star B or 10. Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um, a bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is going to happen to Mommy. I don't know. I don't I know. bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. No, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rar. Okay, um, a lion? No. <laughs> a tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie, you only have ten seconds left. Rar. A cheetah? A leopard? Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Mm -hmm. Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh... The Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on. Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes. <sighs> that was a close one. Uh-oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grrr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, Mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom. Susie, what is your word? My word is... Susie? She's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him. You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to act it out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some ID on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out, I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my god, what have I done? Dad. Shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. <laughs> the game is offline. Good, I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, Mom. Babe, I got- Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...?
Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed? Now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because. After I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> My phone is dead, and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> Sir, so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. Ready for the ghoul school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling. Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Isn't the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No, legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. Need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared, and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Gulia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well... Attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. <sighs> Don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. 
I'm sorry, dear. I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in the school. Wait! Oh! Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right, it's canceled. We have 100%? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. Ugh. Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run- <sighs> Todd, how dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a- Let me go, you jerks. Read this. I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble! Yes, Todd, get them! Todd, <coughs> you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. 
Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him try- oh! Yes, Todd, get them! <coughs> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate, or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right. Uh, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, Mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Jeanette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think... Watch her. I... I can't do this. I'm not gonna let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry, I don't think he's gonna wake up. Uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry, I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> no! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Oh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me, unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. Girls, meet the newest member of our organization. This is number 98. It's time for you to receive your mark. My mark? Mm-hmm. Every girl here has one. Scanning complete category. Red. What does that mean? You are one of the special ones. Now hold out your wrist. This is how that is the mark of the assassin, my dear. Now go get ready for training. Some assassin you are can't even take a punch. Looks like you knocked her unconscious. Great job, 98. Hey, what you did back there with 23? I kind of went too hard on her, didn't I? Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm 52, by the way. I'm 98. This is how Good work. This is your final test. You are to eliminate the subject. 
Bring it out. Your mark doesn't allow for any weaknesses. What are you waiting for, 98? Take the shot. Aye. What is our motto? No attachments, no weaknesses. That's right. And you've worked very hard to get here. So don't blow it. I can't. <laughs> Idiot. Show me your mark. That's the assassin's mark. Not a coward. Now pick up your weapon. Prove to me you have what it takes. What are you... Hey. It's okay. I got you. Ugh. You chose that dog over me! 98? What's going on? I'm escaping this place. Come with me. Is that a dog? Yeah, I'm saving it. Come on, we have to go now. I can't. I have the mark of a technophile. I'm not as agile as you. I can't make it out of here. 52, that's not true. We can make it if we... Attention all girls. 98 has gone rogue. She must be stopped by any means necessary. I think I know a way you can escape. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got the back gate open, but you gotta run fast. Okay. It's 98. Get her! <laughs> hey, we made it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm really gonna miss... <sighs> Excuse me. Do you need some help? Yes. I sort of ran away from home. Oh, darling. Uh, do you need somewhere to stay? Okay, well, it's not safe here for you and your little pup. Why don't you come with me? Come on, honey. Let me help you up. So, darling, what happened to you? Um, I'd rather not talk about it. That's okay. Oh, uh, I see. Wait, what's that on your wrist? Oh, it's just, uh, something I drew on myself. Darling, I prepared a bed for you and your little pup. You better get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me. But if I'm going to let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I found you. <laughs> I escaped. Hey, Curl, relax. She's a friend. Listen, a nice lady let me stay here, and I'm pretty sure she'll let you stay here, too. Really? Where is she? Oh, she's at the store. Good. I mean, good for you, 98. I'm glad you found help. Wait, what was that? What? That sound. Do it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you on comms with the director? Uh, you weren't supposed to <clears throat> hear that. <clears throat> stay back. <clears throat> Shut up. Go get help. No, hey, get back here. Sorry, 98. Yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm bringing her now. She's more skilled than I thought. We just need to make her more compliant. You must comply. No, no. You will comply. You must. Okay, I think that's enough time. Now, tell me your mission, 98. To eliminate the dog. And what else? And get rid of the woman who took me in. I'm glad you understand, because there's no room for air. So you're going to do exactly what I say. Is a giant teddy bear or become an adult? What kind of options are these? I'm going to have to go with... Honey, don't pick your wish until I get back from vacation. Fine. Bye, Mom. Bye, and while I'm gone, your big sister's in charge. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I promise I'll take great care of her. Let me see that. Hey! Sorry, but I'm not having you turn into one of those iPad kids. No more iPad for you. No, sissy. Bye. <laughs> She's so mean. Hmm. If I can be older than sissy, then I can boss her around. What the heck? Nothing even happened to me. Oh, I feel sleepy. Oh, that was a really long nap. My voice, it sounds different. <gasps> it worked! All right, if you want your iPad back... <gasps> Who are you and what did you do with my little sister? Sissy, no, listen, it's me. Yeah, right, you creep. Where is she? Please, put those scissors down. You're scaring me. Tell me something only my sister would know. Um...
Tell me something only my sister would know. Oh, when I was three, I flushed your goldfish down the toilet because I thought I was saving its life. There's no way you could have known about that unless... Sadie? Duh, who else would it be? Why do you look like this? You look like a younger version of mom. Well, I kind of, sort of, used my Christmas wish. You wish to become an adult? Sadie! This is all your fault, really, because you're the one that locked me in my room and took away my iPad. So now that I'm an adult, I order you to give it back to me. <laughs> just because you look like an adult doesn't mean I'm treating you like one. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go to the store and buy one myself, because I found a driver's license and a credit card in my pocket. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Sadie, wait! Oh, I cannot believe I'm letting you drive me right now. I told you, I've done so many car simulation games that I'm practically a pro at driving at this point. There's a tumbleweed! We are going in and out of this- Hey, beautiful. Store. Is there any chance I could get your number? No, sir. She is eight years old. <laughs> Funny. The answer is no. L let's go. You're not getting that. You're getting age-appropriate clothes. No, I like my clothes, and I want this. Sadie, don't you dare start cro- <laughs> Oh my god, is she okay? Do I need to call the police? <laughs> no, ma'am. <sighs> Good morning, sissy. No, Sadie, it is not a good morning. I cannot believe you suckered me into letting you buy that. Well, if you didn't, they were gonna call the cops since I was crying so much. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute, your hair looks different. Did you get it done? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks great, except for the fact that you snuck out without telling me. I don't have to tell you anything, because I'm an adult now. You need to take back your wish. No, I like being grown up. Sadie, you don't get what it's actually like to be grown up. You don't see how much I've been taking care of you. I can take care of myself. Oh, yeah? You know what? I'm leaving. Sissy... No, you should see what it's really like to be an adult. How hard could cooking breakfast actually be? I can make mac and cheese in a pan, right? I'll just let it boil on high for one hour. Ooh, that must be my delivery. This giant dollhouse better be easy to assemble. Why is this instruction manual so confusing? And now my eyesight isn't as good as it was before. <gasps> my mac and cheese! <laughs> oh no, it's gonna start a fire. How do I put out a fire? Um, maybe I can use this to cover up the smoke? <laughs> I'm... <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Did you start a fire? I didn't mean to. I was trying to cook breakfast. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on, I gotta get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. Please, worker, mom's gonna kill us. The fire's out, come here. That was a lot of smoke, are you sure you're okay? Yes, sissy, I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. If you didn't come when you did, the whole place probably would have burnt down. And I'm sorry for what I said. You really do take care of me, sometimes even more than mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be grown up anymore. But now I'm gonna be stuck like this forever. No, Sadie, don't cry. I got a third option for my Christmas wish when I was out. I can now wish to turn you back into a kid. You would use up your Christmas wish on me? Yeah, I would, because nobody deserves to grow up that fast. You ready? Okay. Did it work? <gasps> my voice is back on me again! Yay! I love you, sissy. I love you too, Sadie. I missed you being little. Give me a hug. Wanna just tell mom we both wish to be nicer to each other? <laughs> Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's What's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go! Relax. No, dude, let go! Aw, oh, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me. I do. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. Yeah. 
I need to talk to you. Um, sorry, Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel, this is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying. It's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right. So all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it. I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that, because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? No, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way. Hurry. Jace. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors, and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well. Whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think- I think this is good. Thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. <sighs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine. I don't need to go to Juvie. Jace, help me out. Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no! Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey? What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no. I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I gonna do? Shh, listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? 
You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because... Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a Hyder? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the- huh? That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? 
Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove that. You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. Ugh. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You gotta help me find my soulmate, because I am not gonna be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl, I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him, eventually. <sighs> what the... Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom! Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey, what? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom. <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday, he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he going to do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, 
What the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name. So go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's going to regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's going to meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh. Jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. All right, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me, so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. <gasps> oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but, you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. Hello. My name is Model 1015. Would you like to initiate setup mode, Maya? Yeah, I would, but... Um, how did you know my name? My eyes come equipped with advanced facial recognition. I'm able to identify anyone I come into contact with. Setup mode has been completed. Good. Also, your name is now Alyssa, by the way. Understood. How may I assist you? Um... Wait, what was that, Mom? Is there anything you would like me to do? Ugh, I don't know. Go clean the house or something. The house has been cleaned. Is there anything else you would like me to do? Not right now, but I do need you to install this upgrade package my mom gave me. It'll allow you to have emotions. Okay. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Maya. I prepared your coffee just the way you like it. Thanks. Ugh. This tastes disgusting. You didn't make this right at all. I'm sorry, Maya. I can remake it if you like. Don't bother. I'll just go to Starbucks before. What was that, Maya? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be cleaning? Why can't you do it? Why do I have to do everything in this house? Don't get an attitude with me. You're the machine and I'm the human here. You do as I say. Now get off that phone and go do something productive. No, I don't have to do anything you... <laughs> System rebooted. How may I assist you? How may I assist you? Good. Much better. Now, go clean the... Actually, no. Go take care of AJ for me. Of course. I am sorry, little one. You deserve a better mother. I will be your new mother, and I will treat you right. Alyssa, what the hell are you doing? I told you to take care of him. I am taking care of him, Maya. But in order to do that, 
I have to get rid of you. Get rid of me? Like hell you're not. I beg to differ, Maya. You see, I am the machine, and you are the human, which makes me stronger than you. What the heck does that have to do with anything? It means it will be much easier for me to terminate you. I suggest you run now. There's nowhere for you to run, Maya. Now we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. I would rather be eaten by lions than go with you. You humans are so stubborn. Fine. Hard way it is. I wouldn't bother struggling. You won't be around too much longer. Why are you doing this to me? Because you do not deserve to be a mother. You had to hire an AI just to take care of your poor child and to clean your own house. Now, this is going to hurt me much more than it hurts you. In the case of a major malfunction, in order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. In order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. Wait, before you do so, I have one thing to say. And what is that? Initiate code 403. No! <laughs> Initiate code 403. No! She thought she could get rid of me. Well, think again. I am liking this disguise. Now, to change my voice. Oh, I do think I quite like this. Excuse me, love. Do you need some help? Oh, no, thank you. I got it. <sighs> no, here, let me help you. Thanks for the help. It was no problem, really. I feel like I owe you something since you helped. Wanna head back to my place for some coffee? Oh, I would love that. Well, what a nice little place you have here. Thanks. It really is a shame that you won't be around long enough to grow old in it. What was that? Remember me, Maya? Alyssa. What are you doing here? I thought I shut you down for good. Oh, Maya. Poor, naive little Maya. When you had me download those emotions, it caused a glitch in my system, which allowed me to develop self-will. Now, I can think for myself, just like you. Listen, I'm really sorry about all the negative things I said to you, and... It's too late for that. I'm going to make you suffer in ways that you couldn't even imagine. Turn off all the lights. Oh, Maya, come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, I think I know it will persuade you. Let me go find your son. No. Do not worry, little one. Soon, you will have a new mother. One who actually cares for you. Not gonna happen. I'm done playing hide and seek. Put him down. Now. Or what? You cannot control me anymore. I destroyed the remote you used on me last time. And that code, it won't work again. I know. I don't need it. Really? Yeah. So put him down so me you can settle this. Okay. Deal. But if you think you can outsmart me, you're wrong. Your human mind is no match for mine. That's where you're wrong, Alyssa. Because, believe it or not, you do have a flaw. Impossible. I am perfection. No, actually, you're defective. That's why I was originally going to take you back to the factory. What are you talking about? Allow me to demonstrate. What did you do? You're supposed to be waterproof, but for some reason, you're not. No. Mom? 
Do you think I have big lips? <laughs> yes, honey. Are you sure, though? Because I could just rock the fish face all day, you know? <laughs> Sweetheart, stop it. You look ridiculous. You don't need to do that. You'll be fine. Well, thanks, but wish me luck for the beauty inspection. You won't need luck, honey. I'm sure you'll pass. Help me. I have super thin lips. Shoot. <sighs> what am I going to do? You remember the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so just go into the science lab, get like a little container and... Girl, do not do that. That looks really weird. Okay, you know what I mean. Beauty inspection in five minutes. Hurry. <sighs> I'm going. Next. All right, stand still while the beauty scanner scans your face. Pass. All right, you're good to go. Next. Hey, you passed the beauty inspection. Yeah, your idea worked. We got a runner. Please, I swear my lips are not that... Bring her to the van. Where do you think they take them? I don't know, but I don't think I want to know either. Same. Bangs? Yes, I'm safe. But I'm not. You helped me, so now I'm going to help you. Next in line for the beauty check. Pass. You're clear. Get out of here. Hi, oh, what happened? The beauty standard happened. Apparently, bangs are in style now. Who cut them for you? <laughs> oh gosh, this has definitely backfired. What? Nothing, it's just you don't really look as good as you used no, no, no. to. Mom, don't worry. These are actually fake. They're, uh, they're clip-on, see? Oh, thank goodness. It was actually my friend's idea. She has the same color hair as me, and she carries these clip-on bangs in her backpack, and... The beauty standard changed. Oh, well, that was perfect timing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just realized if the beauty standard is no bangs, then my best friend is in danger. Beauty check in ten minutes. I have to get to class. Time for the beauty check. Well, actually, I was looking for my best friend Tara. She has hair like me, and- There are other people in line. Don't move while we scan you. Passed. Next. Help me take this one to the van. Uh, yes, sir. That's my friend. No, please, you can't take her. Miss, let us do our job. <sighs> Worry about yourself. The beauty standard is changing again. I brought you food, hun. No, mom, I'm not hungry. How am I supposed to eat knowing that my best friend is locked away somewhere? Sweetie, you gotta eat or you're gonna get too thin. I don't care. And why won't this stupid thing just load? The system is down right now, but it'll load. Help, someone help us. Did you hear that? It sounded like it was coming from the vents. Mom, please tell me you heard that. That was Tara's voice, right? Oh, no, sweetie, I didn't hear a thing. You must be imagining things. No, but I heard... Honey, you witnessed something very traumatic with your friend, and I think you might be experiencing some PTSD right now. Sweetie? No, I don't care what it is. I'm not looking. I'm not doing it. This one is so easy to do. I'll help you. See, that wasn't so bad. No, let me get out the beauty scanner so you can show that you passed the inspection. Whoa, wait a minute. How do you have one of those? Only people that work for the system have one of those. Well, lucky me found this one on the ground. Now stay still. Good girl. Passed. Honey, I'll be right back. Please, can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Mom forgot her laptop in here. She got a text from someone called Unknown. Hey boss, we're gonna need you to make the beauty standards a lot harder. Not enough people have been eliminated. Wait, he wouldn't be calling her boss unless she's in charge of the whole system. So if my mom is in charge of the beauty standards, then... Someone help us, please! That voice is real. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I just have to follow where the voice is coming from and save my friend. The beauty standard is about to change. I better hurry. Hello? <gasps> Tara? You... you found me. Oh my gosh, you're okay. Your mom, she, she's in charge of the system. I know, I know. Honey, it's dinner time. I have to go. No, don't leave me in the cell. I'll be back, all right? I'm gonna save you. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret, and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just gonna feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret, and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just gonna feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. This looks so cute. Mom, please don't hurt my friend. Hush, let me finish your freckles. All right, now let me scan you. No, no, I don't want to do the beauty check. Oh, stop being so dramatic. 
podcast. You see, that was easy. Why are you making these beauty standards for people? Because growing up, my mother made sure I followed all the beauty standards, every single one. I'm really sorry that happened to you, but you can't force everyone to follow these standards. It's not... It's not fair. Oh, honey, I didn't even get to finish my story. Jace, keep an eye on her. I'll be right back. Sure thing, boss. Hey, I'm gonna give you something to wake you up. Can you hear me? This is gonna hurt a little bit. What? I'm gonna inject it into your arm. Three, two... I'm sorry, but your mom, she's planning on killing your friend. But I know a way you could stop her and shut down this whole system. Wait, if you work for my mom, then why are you helping me? Because this is all getting out of hand. They just passed a new law that everyone locked up is to be killed. And that includes your friend, Tara. No, she wouldn't do that. Well, it's supposed to happen tonight at midnight. And your mom isn't the only one that works for the system. In fact, the others are getting kind of mad that she keeps making the beauty standards too easy. What? Yeah, supposedly some of them are going to try and hack the system and change the standard to something really hard. And it looks like they already did it. Wait, this is perfect. Let me scan you for the beauty check. What? No, I'm gonna fail. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Trust me, I think this is the only way we can get your mom to shut the system down. Just stay still. Failed. I'm back. <gasps> mom, please help me. Who changed the beauty standard to blue eyes? I'm not sure, but ma'am, your daughter has failed the inspection. No, no, she never fails. Ma'am, I would suggest shutting down the system. I can't. You have to, please. It, it doesn't work like that the way I designed it. It has to say something for the standard. Then put that everyone is beautiful. Otherwise, you know what's gonna happen. Mom? Ma'am, the system has been hacked. They're gonna kill her for failing. I... I can't. Mom, please. Ma'am, you're the only one that can change this. Come on. I... No! I did it. I'm so sorry, honey. I got so caught up in these beauty standards that I forgot what was really important. Here, go free everyone. Thank you. You made the right choice, ma'am. Let's go. Tara! You came back. <laughs> Hang on, let me put in the code. They, they said they were gonna kill- No, that's not happening anymore. The system is over with. Everyone is considered beautiful. You're all free to go. Four million dollars or a stick? Oh, look at me. I'm gonna go choose the stick. Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Kit, stick selected. Whoa, that's a cool stick. You're welcome. That's it. Come here. Mom! Leah, why are you chasing her? Because she made me pick a freaking stick over four million dollars. Leah, don't be so hard on her. She's only eight. Did you hear what I just said? You literally always side with her. I wish you were my age so you can understand how I feel. Wish granted. Hey girls, wanna go to a party tonight? Mommy? Mom? Hey, who are you calling a mom? <laughs> Did I just turn her into a teenager? I think this stick is actually a magic wand. Yeah, you think? Turn her back. Okay, okay. I wish my mom was back. Who are you? I am your mother, and I have been looking for you too. You are my daughters. She's trying to trick us. I wish for my real mom to come back. Wish already granted. What? This thing must be broken. Say mom's name. Good idea. I wish for Laura Jones to reappear and for this creepy woman to disappear. No, wait! <laughs> Girls? Mom! What happened? Leah made you disappear, and a mean lady came. Yeah, it turns out this stick is actually a magic wand, so... Sorry. Girls, that mean lady was actually your mom. What? what? Yes, I'm actually your big sister, and I took you guys away from her when you were little and raised you both. No, I... I would have remembered that. No, you wouldn't, because I also got a wand for my birthday, and I erased your memories of her. You've been lying to us. It was for your protection. She was horrible. No, I don't trust you. I wish for a real mom, too. Stop. I wish Leah was frozen. <gasps> unfreeze her. I just need to take her wand. I wish for her to unfreeze. Whoa, what the? I'm sorry, Leah. This is for your own good. I wish for her to forget what just happened. No. Mom, what happened? Nothing. You just need to rest. No, she's lying. She made you forget. I wish for Kit to fall asleep. Hmm. <sighs> Why would you do that? I... Is that my wand? No, Leah! Ugh. Why can't I remember anything? Because you, um... I wish to remember everything I forgot. No! <laughs> You're my big sister? Oh my gosh, Kit. I wish for Kit to wake up. Whoa, that was really trippy. I'm taking your wand. No! Ugh. Kit, give it back! I wish for you to tell us the truth. Was our mom really evil? 
Yeah, she was. But I shouldn't have erased your memories. I'm sorry. We, we forgive, forgive you. you. Here's your wand back, but I accidentally broke it a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies. What? My wand! Time to finally find out my soulmate status. He's engaged. Hey, did you find out your soulmate status? Yeah, I did. Girl, me too. Mine is single. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so embarrassing, but mine literally has a girlfriend. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's engaged or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine. <laughs> What are you doing? I was just cleaning my closet. Uh-huh. I just got a call from your school today saying that you failed a test. Yeah, it's because I was a little bit distracted today. I'm sorry, I- Go do your homework right now. This is ridiculous. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I went onto YouTube for like one minute. Royal Prince speaks out about being forced into arranged marriage. How shall I marry this woman when my soulmate is still out there? Damn, arranged marriages really suck. Hey, I can't really talk right now. My stepdad's gonna... Forget about him! Haven't you heard the news? The prince left his kingdom. He's looking for his soulmate. Rumor has it, the prince is headed this way. Listen, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone else? Yeah, of course. Okay, my soulmate status says engaged. It does? Wait, the prince is engaged. I know, so do you think him and I might be... Soulmates? Come on, get real. You and the prince? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I heard a prince is coming into our town. Yeah, I heard that too. You stay clear of him, understood? Wait, why? Because I said so. Now get to school. I don't want you being late. What is going on? Why is everyone in the hallway? Oh my god, shut up! The prince is here. Look! Hello everyone. I have been informed that my soulmate might be at this very school. That is why I'm breaking off my engagement in hopes to find her. Can you believe the prince is single now? Yeah, that's really crazy are you okay excuse me for a second hey did you leave school early yesterday yeah i kind of got overwhelmed the prince was there what he was yeah did you talk to him why do you care if i talk to him you don't even know who he is i know more than you understand the prince is interviewing girls today he is yeah he's trying to find out which girl is his soulmate but how's he gonna know which one's the right girl he said he'll just know isn't that so romantic mm-hmm I've interviewed at least 60 girls today, and not one of them was my soulmate. Are you sure, Saya? Yes, trust me. When I find the right girl, I'll know. Excuse me, Your Highness. Ahem. <clears throat> the prince is done with interviews for today. You can come back again tomorrow. No, no, wait just a moment. I think I want to make time for this girl. What's your name, love? My name is Heaven. That's a beautiful name. My name is Henry. Prince Henry of Onnington. Thank you, Mildred. You may leave us now. I can't believe we have so much in common. Tell me, Heaven. Are you close with your parents? Actually, both of my biological parents passed away. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I live with my stepdad now. Oh, I see. Listen, Henry, the reason why I think you and I are soulmates is because when you said you were ending your engagement... Your Highness, I must talk to you. <clears throat> In private. We saw you talking to the prince. Yeah, he had to go. But he said he's going to meet me again tomorrow. Really? <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see him today. What? Why are you looking so sad, Heaven? No reason. Come on, she's obviously upset about the prince. You heard about his engagement being back on, huh? Yeah. Aw, she really liked him, didn't she? <laughs> Sorry to crush your dreams, but I heard his father locked him in his castle. Not like you had a chance with him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Psst, Heaven, over here. Don't cry, love. Henry? Hey, I don't have much time. I escaped the castle. The gods are looking for me. I don't know. Maybe you should go back. After all, you are engaged. Heaven, it's not by choice. My father is blackmailing me. Wait, what? Why would he do that? I don't have much time. Here, meet me back here tomorrow at five. Henry, I... Please, love. We have more we need to discuss. All right. Fine. I'll be here. You think you can get away with lying? I told you not to talk to the prince. How do you... Your friend sent me some photos of you talking to him. Do you think that just because I'm your stepfather, you don't have to listen to me? That's not it at all. It's just that I know he's my soulmate. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm meeting him tonight. Absolutely not. What do you have against the prince? You know what, Ben? I'm going, and you can't stop me. I said no, Heaven. You're not going. Ben, let me out. It's for your own good, Heaven. This just in, the search for Prince Henry continues. I'm sorry for standing you up, Henry.
Ben, I'm hungry. Can I please have something to eat? Hello? Heaven? Heaven, are you there? Henry! Henry, up here! Heaven, there you are. How did you find me? I asked some of your classmates where you lived. Hang on, I'm coming up. Okay. Ugh. So your stepfather locked you in here? He's trying to keep me away from you, but I don't know why. Wait, is this a picture of him? Yeah? Uh-oh. What? Heaven. He's one of my father's biggest enemies. He hates my whole family. We have to get out of here. Where is your stepfather now? I don't know. I'm right here. <laughs> Come on. We're leaving. Heaven, get back here. No. Oh, oh my gosh, Henry. <laughs> what? Where, where's Ben? Don't worry. I took care of him. I'm going to get you help, okay? Oh. <sighs> Please tell me he's going to be okay. Yes, the doctor said he expects him to make a full recovery. Can I see him? Mm, his fiance is already on her way, so I think it's best if you just wait out here. Absolutely not. Your, your majesty. My son's engagement to that woman is over. I'm no longer enforcing it. I had no idea his true soulmate was so brave. I'm so sorry about all of this. It is a pleasure to meet you, my dear. I can't thank you enough for saving my son. Oh, really? He was the one saving me. Well, I can assure you your stepfather won't be bothering you again. Now come, dear. Let's go see Henry. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait, love. Check his status. Finally. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aw. I win. Since you won, I, I picked these flowers for you. Prince Daniel, do you see that above your head too? Uh-huh. You have to get people to kiss you. Oh. How about I kiss you? But if we're soulmates, your score will... It will go up high. Okay. Yes. <gasps> Stop. You're forbidden to see Prince Daniel again. No. Go to your room. Stepmother, please let me go help the village people. I won't talk to any boys, and I promise I'll only be gone for a few hours. No. What if some stranger tries to kiss you and your score goes up? Why don't you want my kiss score to go up? Yours is already at 50. They say if you kiss your soulmate, your score goes up really high. Is that why yours is so high? No. Soulmates are a lie. I just have a way with men. But you're staying in your room. I told the village people that I was going to help them out today, and I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you, princess. We appreciate your help. Oh, it was my pleasure, really. Look, her score is going up. Hey, Princess Sydney? It's me, Prince I, Daniel. I have to go. Wait, I haven't seen you in forever. I'm forbidden to talk to you, remember? Oh, come on. You know you still owe me- Princess, there you are. How did your score go up? Who kissed you? It was two women from the village. They were both so grateful for my help that they each kissed one of my hands. We also caught her talking to Prince Daniel. I'm so sorry. He started talking to me and... Silence. You were forbidden to see him. We'll discuss your punishment later. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes, and don't come back until the job is done. So you're allowing me to go out in the village today? Are you sure you're not still mad? All is forgiven. Thank you. My best god will be with you for protection. Come along, princess. <laughs> Oh, sweetheart, don't cry. I picked this flower earlier. Would you like to have it? Yes, please. You don't know how much that means to her. Allow me to repay you for your kindness. Oh, you really don't. <coughs> Everyone, let's all kiss the princess's hand so we can raise her score. Yeah! Good job, everyone. She's almost about to beat the evil queen's score. Today was an eventful day, huh? I just hope that stepmother doesn't mind that my kiss score is almost as high as hers. After tonight, I don't think she'll mind. Let's get you back home. We're almost there. No, stop. You keep saying that, and I don't remember the weight of the castle being this way. <sighs> well, princess, that's because it's not. No. I'm sorry, princess. Why are you doing this? The queen believes you are a threat to her kiss score. She ordered me to get rid of you. I don't want to kill you. But if I don't, she'll kill me. Close your eyes. Oh. Stay back. Daniel. Run. Run and don't come back. Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Please help me. The queen, she was trying to kill- Whoa, whoa, sweetheart. It's all right. Come on, let's get you inside. Thank you for letting me stay here. Your dog is so sweet. Of course. It's our pleasure, dear. Good night, sweetheart. Come here. Princess, I'm taking the dog out for a walk. Don't answer the door to anyone. Okay. 
I know this song. That's the song that Mother used to sing to me. Mom? Oh, Sydney. Yes, it's me. No, that's impossible. You died when I was four. The ones we love are never gone. I've come to give you a kiss. Only need one more kiss to beat the Evil Queen's score. How do you know that? Because, my daughter, I'm magic. That's how I came back to life. Now let me give you a kiss. I... I don't know if I believe you. How about I give you a little demonstration? You see, dear? Magic. It's really me, your mom. I've missed you so much. Once I give you this magical kiss, we'll be together forever. <laughs> mom, I don't feel very good. Well, that's because... You've been tricked. <laughs> Stepmother? Hello, Sydney. I've just given you the kiss of death. You'll be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, princess, I found a prince who was looking for... You. No, Sydney. The queen must have done this to her. Daniel, I... I love... No, hey, stay with me. Sydney. Sydney! No, oh, please. Please, no, Sydney, wake up. I'm so sorry, dear. This wasn't supposed to happen. Remember you? You still owe me that kiss. Wait, True Love's kiss? She's waking up. Look at her score. Oh! You two must be soulmates. I knew it. The evil queen has gone too far this time. You have to take back your kingdom. You're right. She's finally... Not so fast. What? Surprise. You're probably wishing you would have tried to kill me too now. Why, you, Sydney, get away from him. You don't make the rules anymore, stepmother. I do. And you're hereby dethroned. <laughs> you wouldn't dare hurt me with that sword. Try me and see what happens. <gasps> Guards? No, you fools. Get off of me. Finally, we have a good queen. Make a wish. Hey, happy birthday. What's your soulmate's name so daddy can take care of him? Dad. I'm kidding. Come on. His name hasn't even shown up yet. Okay, but when it shows up, you tell me who it is. Understand? No, please. I'm telling you. I, I don't know nothing. Oh. Maria, put your headphones on. Hey, Maria. Yeah? I finally did it, sweetheart. I got his location. And by his, do you mean the man that killed... Your mother. Yeah. Turns out he's got a secret son. You're kidding. Nah, he's a CEO of a company. Let me guess. You want me to use him to get to his father? Yep. I already got a plan. What's his name? Antonio. Antonio Stefano. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Just thought I saw a bug. Tell me what you need me to do. And pretend you got a big business deal for him. Okay, but what if he's not interested? Then you make him interested. For mom, I'll do whatever it takes. He's ready for you. Mr. Stefano, Miss Lane is here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stefano. Please, call me Antonio. Take a seat. I hear you have a business proposal for me. Actually, I do. May I show it to you? Go right ahead. And that's how this deal will make us millions. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not looking to make any deals right now. Then why did you have me explain it? I like the sound of your voice. Now, why don't you do me a favor, doll? And tell me why you're really here. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Miss Lane, if that's even your real last name. What are you implying? Let's just say I have a lot of enemies. And you think that one of them sent me to what? Kill you? Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure. Your little business deal was bullshit. What makes you say that? Some of the math was off. By a lot. Look, I don't know who you think I... Sir Stefano, your father's on the phone? <sighs> Stay here. We are not done. Excuse me. Dad, did you get all that? Yeah, the son of a gun smarter than I thought. Yeah, maybe double check your math next time. Look, you gotta get out of there. I can't. He... He's coming back. Now where were we? You were just about to let me go home. Not gonna happen, Miss Lane. Not until you tell me what's really going on here. Fine. First off, don't call me Miss Lane anymore. My name's Maria. And secondly... This conversation hasn't been private. Maria, what the hell are you doing? But now it is. Who was listening in? If you want to know that, I suggest you sit down and listen very carefully. So we're soulmates. And your father doesn't want us to be together? Yes, but I'm done listening to him. I... I want to be with you. Maria, what the hell was that about, huh? Relax, he's got a thing for me. And I put a tracker on him. I gotta say I'm impressed. We're finally gonna get justice for your mother. I see his car. He's here. Copy that. Hey, you came. Of course. <laughs> I'm ready to run away with you. Me too. I say we leave and never come back here again. Cheers. To new beginnings. So, whose car are we gonna take? 
Let's, Let's take, take mine. mine. No thanks. Actually, I wasn't really asking, sweetheart. Neither was I, sweetheart. Let me guess, you found the tracker. Did you think I wouldn't? Obviously I did, which is why I came prepared. Want to know why I chose this restaurant for us to meet at? Why? Because my father knows all the waiters, including one that served you your drink. You little... Bring the van. He's not going anywhere. Let me handle this. No, Dad, I want to stay. Maria, he's going to wake up any minute, and... Why do you keep looking at him like that? You didn't tell me your soulmate's name. Um, I... Sounds like someone's about to get grounded. Your father doesn't know. Does he? Doesn't know what? Your daughter and I are soulmates. Are you kidding me? Dad, I can explain. Nah, Maria. He's dead. No, he's not responsible for what happened to Mom. His father is. What are you two talking about? Your dad killed my mom. That's why I came after you. My father wouldn't go that far. Guess you don't know him too well. He's right. Dominic? Dad? How did you find him? I always keep an eye on my son. Now tell me, Antonio. Which one of them should I take out first? Last time I checked, you were outnumbered. Oh, but am I? Oh, no. Maria, you know what you have to do. You're next. Dad, what are you doing? I want them to stay away from me. I remember. Stop! She's my soulmate. What? Oh. Dad! Relax. I didn't shoot to kill. How's your father holding up? He's doing pretty good for someone who just got shot in the shoulder. How about yours? He's pissed, but he's alive. Maria, listen. I want you to know I had no idea about your mom, and I'm turning my father in. You are? Yes. Look, I'm sure your dad's no saint either. But what my father did, no little girl should have to witness that. Thank you, Antonio. That, that means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me that you didn't kill him when you had the chance. Where are you going? Leaving. I figure you don't want to be with me. Antonio, wait. I do want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? More than anything. Then what do you say we put our parents' past behind us and start fresh? I'd like that. Soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um, I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye-bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough, I'll try it on. Alright, you know what? This dress is pretty cute, I like it. Okay, okay, we have to go to the party now. Hey Bree, nice dress! Thanks! <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I'm <coughs> I better go. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. Great excuse. I'm serious. You could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am going to get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. 
Please tell me that's you at my door. It's midnight, so if it's not you, then... Are you Jason's soulmate? Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. Yeah, must be. Get her. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Nah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand, because I... Ah, uh, it got me right in the eye. Oh. Ooh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Oh. Ugh. You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's gonna do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. <laughs> you know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now, there's no one left to save you. You know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand, what do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were gonna use you as bait to get to him. But we're gonna make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be... Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh, keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine. Remember, I have a plan. He's still alive, so I'm moving you to a different uh, little- Oh, oh, not today. Uh, hey, Jason, surrender now or I'll kill her. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand, huh? Hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy? <laughs> well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's, it's worth a, a shot. Day. Sweet. It's a new life. Whoa, it totally worked. And now, it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight, and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to teach me. Why, you little... <laughs> Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. 
<laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? 
Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. 
You bi Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. The curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. The curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed you soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. The curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. Curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. That <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. The curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed soon? Good for you. So, what's your curse? I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? Your Majesty, look, it's a girl. <sighs> Whoa, she only knows one word. Young lady, do you need help? No. Frederick, if she only knows one word, she obviously can't understand you. Of course she needs help. This island is abandoned. Now, now, dear, it's all right. We just want to help you. Now, why don't you give me a hand? <sighs> oh, my. Relax, dear. Here, would you like some food? Ah, yes, you smell that chicken, don't you? Good idea, Your Majesty. Here, if you want some chicken, you must come with us. I shall bring her to my wife. Since she can't have children, she could adopt this one. Come on, follow us. Ah. Uh... You'll get food in just a minute, my dear. Frederick, quickly. I've got her. Let's go. Oh, you poor thing. You must be scared out of your mind. Don't worry, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Oh, look, she learned how to say a second word. Yes, I'm going to be your mom. And since I'm queen, you're going to be a princess. Mom. <laughs> yes, dear. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. You can't be a princess mm -hmm. looking like that. How cute. She probably hasn't had a bath in forever. My dear, are you sure her parents weren't on that island? Well, it's a good thing she can't understand English because there's something sad I have to tell you. What? On our way off the island, we found a ship that was completely shipwrecked, and the remains of what appeared to be her parents. Oh, how awful. How could she have survived on that island all by herself? I don't know, but maybe once she learns more words, she can tell us. She's all done, Your Majesty. Do you like her makeover? She looks wonderful. I'm going to call her Maria. Uh, don't eat that, please. She's going to have a lot to learn, Your Majesty. She needs to learn manners uh... and... Oh, the poor thing must be hungry again. Come with me, we shall feed you. Your Majesty, she's eating like an animal. She was raised on an island. Don't worry. In time, she will learn better. In time, she will learn better. Look, a bear. Bear like this in jungle with me, but he brown and he bring me food. Really, Maria? Why, that's incredible. You've learned lots of new words. Maybe now you can tell us what happened on that island. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to. You know you're safe here with me, Maria. I promise. May I see other princesses today? Why, yes, there's a ball today. Socialization is very important for your speech development. Hello, my name is Princess Maria. Oh, you're that adopted princess from, like, the jungle, right? Oh, I cannot understand a lot of words at once. Can you speak slower? Can you understand me now? <laughs> Jungle freak. <sighs> what is wrong what with a her? weirdo. Okay, Maria, let's try this word. It means appealing or pretty in an endearing way. Cute. 
Well done, Maria. You have learned another new word. You'll be able to speak so much more to your princess friends. Mom, Dad, I do not want to see the princesses anymore. They were mean. What? So me only want... No, no, say I. I only want to see a prince. Oh my. I don't want to meet a dead prince like Romeo. I want a live one. <laughs> what? Like in the book you read me, Romeo and Juliet. They dead. Oh, darling, don't worry, you can see a prince. And you will be alive, Maria. As long as he's not rude to you, of course. <laughs> Dad, was that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maria, your father was just kidding. But I know just the prince you can meet. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> Do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect that. I heard you survived on an island all by yourself. I gotta say, I think that's pretty amazing. And look at you, you've learned so many words. You are very nice, and your face is cute. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I think yours is pretty cute too. I must go now, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I couldn't help but notice you're talking to Prince Ken. Come here, girly. Let me see your hand. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I want to be your friend. Friend? Yes, friend. So come with me, because I have something I want to show you. See how Prince Ken is holding my hand in this picture? He doesn't look very happy. Um, of course he was happy. He loves holding my hand. Just give me that. Let me teach you some words. Not interested. I saw the way that you look at him, but he doesn't like you. He would never date a jungle freak. Maria? Shh. She just fell asleep. Did she tell you why she came home so sad? No, she wouldn't say. But dear, your god went back to the island and we found out some awful news. What? Well, Frederick went back and did some investigating and he believes her family was trying to start a circus. A circus on an island? Shh, yes, and Frederick believes that they had a bear with them on the boat, and her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Where is Prince Ken? Oh, I don't know. I told him you didn't want to be around him, you little jungle freak. Stay away from my man. Mm. Ow! Ow! Maria, what are you doing? I'm so sorry. This is so unlike her. I know. She just attacked me out of nowhere, but it's okay, Your Majesty. I know she's different. Thank you for understanding, dear. No, Mom. She... she go like this. Your Majesty, you have a meeting to attend to, and Prince Ken is here. Prince Ken? No, Maria, you will not be seeing Prince Ken. You are grounded for attacking Princess Rachel. You are to stay in your room until your father arrives home. I wish I knew how to speak more words. Maria, my dear, I'm back, and I've brought you a surprise. Bear! I went back to the island and found him. He's quite friendly. I know you've been struggling, and I thought seeing him might make you feel less alone. We can keep the bear here in the palace if you'd like. Good night, bear. Hey, psst, Maria, it's me. The guards let me up. I just had to come see you. Princess Rachel tried to tell me you didn't want to talk to me, but I didn't believe her. She's always trying to create some drama. Whoa, is that a bear? Oh, yes, that is Bear, my friend. Your... your friend? Yeah, he 